Alright. It's time for the hold up. It's time for Consecrated Snowfield. How exciting. Hmm. That is interesting. How empty round table hold is now. Let's see how long that lasts. Well. As in how long the few people who remain are going to remain. Is that Gideon, Roderica, Hugh, and Enya? Hmm. Go over here, there should be caves around this area. This under Shack of the Lofty. But I think I actually want to go to Ordina as soon as possible. So I can get a spell by reaching Halo Tree. Is going to be Black Flame's protection. First, first. Hmm. Yeah. Want to take. Hmm. Hmm. Not Rykards. Can use a Duel's Moonblade right now. We're going to. Not that, not that. Dula's Moonblade. Okay. Slightly better version of Karian Greatsword. That'll be nice. Hmm. Question then is just try it. Hmm. And there we go. Just use this repeatedly. Oh, it's got a horizontal. Hmm. Okay. Starts with a diagonal, then goes. Okay. Two diagonals, then horizontal, then repeats. Diagonal, horizontal, diagonal, horizontal. Hmm. Figure this one out. I think, and I see something invisible, it seems. So, what is this specific? Oh, Vision's a bright spot. It's just a random anomaly that people are noting. Yeah, but going to Ordina. I also need the Sentry's Torch in one hand so that I can actually see things. I should probably also... Well, I've got these seals on hand. That'd mostly be to actually try casting with them, but I need to keep in mind the incantation boost that they give eventually. Do I have? Yep, I do have Centric's Torch, and that's going to be crucial in here. I think Green Turtle is nice, but I'd actually prefer Halo Drake plus two, probably, because I'm going to be fighting Black Knight Assassins. That's where that map was, and if we go up to Ordina, we can go inside the Ever Jail, and then, in theory, take out a number of Black Knight Assassins, and is that a... Ah, right, these are Albinoric archers riding. Right, okay. Hello, then. And... Oh, huh. I expected a much more damaging... Okay, huh. Maybe I'll just stay away, then, and fight those guys in a bit. But here we are in Ordina. Is there going to be a grace? There is a grace, in fact. Okay. But in order to actually get stuff going, we need to go inside the Ever Jail. Hello. Hello there. Also. Okay, that wolf is not actually anything special. Hmm. Hold room 10 and. Okay, but I need to find the entrance to the Ever Jail in order to. Oh, hello, Black Knight Assassin. Open the gate to the Halo Tree. Hmm. Where is that going to be? Ah, okay, and we can see some of this. Invigorating cured meat. And what does this say? This says, hold shut by a seal, and it's got this nickel and needle sigil on it, but. Ah, okay, here we go. I think. Do we need. 
four figures in the Everjail. All right, let's enter. And there are black knife assassins in here. Hmm. Who are these sentry swords will reveal? Hmm. I'll probably keep Golden Vow up just for the sake of it. Won't hurt me or stop me. Hmm. I think they're about five Black Knife Assassins in the area. Well, I see one of them, I think. Hmm. But the Duelist Moonblade is going to be the way to handle them. My question is just, yep, I can't use my horse in here because it's in Everjail. Hmm. Just go around the edges. I do actually want to fight as many of them as possible, and somebody is shooting me. I don't like that. But who? But who? Hmm. It's really, really obnoxious. Hmm. I wonder what kind of way to take them down I'd want to use. Oh, hello. Hi. Hmm. Hmm. Getting close and making. Oh my goodness. What? Huh? doesn't make any sense. Okay. Can I hit you or... Hmm. This is gonna really suck to get up top there. Hmm. How then can I take that assassin down? If at all. I... Oh goodness, I hear somebody. Don't like that. Hmm. Golden Vow again, and oh right, I, right, right, I, oh, oh my goodness, forgot about that stupid grab attack, I, right, right, I, okay, and what, what the, okay, thanks, I, god damn, god damn, I, okay, heal, I, dodge, okay, thanks, I, okay, and can I, hmm, I, of course, of course, you stupid, stupid, I, god damn you, god damn, okay, heal, heal, and what in the, what, god damn, it doesn't make any sense. <sighs> that means I can't use that goddamn spell anymore. <sighs> so now we're left to do this without anything. I actually kind of give up. <sighs> Big thing is, I should have had this in other hand in the first place. I should have used a bow to take that guy down. It's just... I thought it was literally only... I... I didn't want to have to farm rune arcs. I'm probably gonna have to. Well, I could go for some invasions, actually. Hmm. It's an idea. Yeah, but that was some fucking bullshit. Let's actually try some invasions. Just to get another Rune Orc. And you could also theoretically help people, but... I might be too high a level. If anyone is this high level, they are doubtlessly in the DLC right now. Hmm. It's just not gonna work. Hmm. 
Oh, well, we're actually invading. Okay. Hmm. Let's hope this works. But if I didn't get those runes back, what's gonna happen? Hmm. I. Where is. Of course, the bloody finger's dead. Alright. Hmm. Just cast up a little. Thank you. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Can I. Okay, can I. Thank you. One, two, and can I. Hmm. Oh, goodness. Of course we're getting seriously ganked now. Alright. Alright. Thanks. One, two, three. Uh, okay. Alright. Mmm. Don't like that sleep mist. Thanks. And thanks. One, two. Mmm. Mmm. Alright. Alright. Okay. Getting close. Weapon art is... Very, very good for taking down anything, really. Hmm, I... Thanks, I... Thanks... Ooh, well, I... Oh, my goodness. Really? Hmm. That was very parryable. But, that's right. These runes are just gone now. Oh, they were using Bloody Helix, too. So. Hmm. Okay, well, that is, it's over there and all those runes are gone now. Whatever, I really don't give a shit. <sighs> we can try that one more time, but. I, I've gotten way too reliant on rune arcs. I really don't have anything else. Flame is good too. Well, okay. And um, you're not gonna misjudge that time, are you? Okay. All right. Thanks. Uh, all right. And really? Okay. What? Uh huh? All right. That's some nonsense. Hmm. Just. Probably too fast to actually catch you out of it, and can I- Thanks, I- I- uh, That weapon art's just too predictable. Unless you go for some kind of- Okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, I- What? Huh? Really? I- Alright, and can I- Yeah, I- uh, Can't actually get any kind of- Uh... Really? Okay, come on. I just... I... Uh, this weapon is actually portable for PvP if anyone... Uh, the only reason it's any good is countering... Rivers of Blood. It's not good for anything else. Why is this weapon actually dog shit? Maybe I should just use Stitcher. Maybe I should just fuck off and start farming rooms. Hmm. I can't even wield this without a rune arc. It's 
comical how worthless my build is. It, there's honestly basically nothing I can do. It. Mm. I can try again, but I should honestly just give up. Wonder why they're all in Libra Neo, though. Mm. Hooks are just not that good for PvP, it seems. It makes sense, but still. Mm -hmm. <sighs> I could try getting summoned, but it's not going to happen. It's just not going to happen. It... Without rune arcs, I can't even use Moonblade, and my durability becomes practically zero. But this is legitimately very demoralizing. Hmm. Okay. Uh, I don't think I'm going to get a single rune arc from these things. Probably not. And here's my stupid sentry's torch. Okay. I mean, the big thing is I can kill them with- Okay, there we go. This is actually simple. This isn't bad at all. Hmm. Just five rats or something like that, and you see that people seem to be farming here, too. Yeah. Problem is, if I use the Falfa, I would run out of... It w the effect would disappear upon resting at the Grace, and that would be less than ideal. Hmm. I think I just got lucky that one time getting one of them. Okay. Hmm. Just got five. I'll probably just do. Did I? Am I? Yeah, I am at heavy load somehow. Cause how the hell is this stupid torch? Why is that five? That's ridiculous. It weighs twice as much as the other torch, for some reason. Hmm. Cannot imagine why. Oh, okay. Let's just continue killing rats until we have enough root arcs that I can reasonably expect it not run out, if that's possible. Uh, and... Wait, huh? Okay. I just got lucky that one time, definitely. Hmm. Mm -mm. Uh. Honestly, it's a non zero chance that I should just be using different trade runes by now. I honestly feel as if health related ones would be better in the end, in the long run. But, hmm. It's a long time to go back there. Yeah, I'm not going to be able to use a 
benefit for this. I just want to pop one every single time. But I don't. Hmm. Hmm. Luckily, damage here is good, but I I get the impression that that one remark at the start is going to be was just hilariously dumb luck and just, it will be a long, long time until we get another. Hmm. Just I've reached the point where the well has run dry proverbially. That is not good. Mm. Well, it can always farm more if I die again. Hopefully I won't. Like three would be a good number. The annoying thing is just how many I burned through the last time. Just all went down the shit. It, it's honestly, I feel like Amber's hit a good balance, because the fact that <coughs> you know, eventually multiplayer becomes basically inaccessible, it's a pretty heavy limit on rune arcs. But for Embers, it you only really need them if you want to play multiplayer. You don't. There isn't much of a. Well, okay. We're getting lucky again. I just we have three now. I think honestly, five is going to be a decent number. Then I just need to actually use my great bow and Ordina. How is my Dome Great Visit plus 7? I. How many plus 8 stones do I have? I have enough that I can afford to level that Great Bow. Because I need to shoot those archers. That's going to be, if I want to use range on them, I've got to use just bow shots. Because. Those lightning spears are not going to hit reliably after a certain point. Uh, this is some kind of humiliation, that's for sure. I definitely deserve this. Hmm. Thank you. Uh, but it... Getting... Effectively, 40 more levels, especially given how much I make you some multi-scaling. Really, really good. Hmm. Suppose, and it makes sense, that PvP meta is jumping attacks. Because they are unparryable. It totally sidesteps that part of the equation, which otherwise is... A very, very real vulnerability. When otherwise it's very easy to just get totally rolled. Hmm. We have doubled discovery. Now it's all up to luck. Okay. Okay. It's just... Bows exist for a reason. It... For true long-range long combat, I need to use the bow. The magic is for mid-range combat. But if I'm actually trying to take things off of roofs or something, that's when I use. Or I could be really funny and try using one of the Loretta spells, but... What is mastery as well? I need to get past Halo Tree for that. Uh, please, please. Let me get what I want. I just want two more rune arcs and I'll leave this place forever. <sighs> uh, 
Typically, yeah, even the big ones die in one hit because we're that far past this point, but it does not feel good. Mm. Come on, come on. I, okay. Huh. Keep on going. Continue to do this until RNG blesses you. Two more red arcs. Uh, uh, it's honestly rather humiliating how quickly I lost that one after using it sort of last time, but it, the fact that I need it for a duel's moon blade is not fun. It's the annoying thing is that the black knife got me while it was buffing. The main thing is just that Albinoric Archer means that there aren't really safe spaces in Ordina. Though to be fair, my research was incomplete and I was under the impression that Ordina literally only had Black Knife Assassins and no other enemies. Therefore, if I could handle the Black Knives, nothing else would really matter, which was definitely not the case. Hmm. There we go, just one more. One more. It is very amusing they drop rune arcs. Because in the same way that they drop golden runes, it's very plainly sort of about the fact that they're, you know, corpse-eating rats and therefore sort of absorb the power of gold in the same way that rats dropped humanity is in Dark Souls. But... Mm. Yeah, that golden gray boat needs to get to plus eight at least. Because it is my best actual sniping weapon. Hmm. Taking back... What is rightfully not the rats from the rats? I wouldn't say they're not rightfully mine. I, oh, come on. Thank you. Hmm. It is interesting how there's that now respawning a demi human in those ruins over there. And respawning demi human queen without a boss bar, because there are lots of. You know, non-respawning enemies without a boss part later in the game, but it's interesting how they do that early on in Weeping. It... Weeping is an interesting sort of area, is a sort of dedicated detour after you probably don't beat Margit the first time around, and okay, cool. Got what we needed. I can we try Ordina again. But I... It's a bit annoying. Okay. Gotta find our way into that Everjail. Oh, we lost a lot of runes over there. Well, whatever. I suppose I could try Loretta's to be funny, but that's what I do need to upgrade. Golem bow to plus eight. That should be good. Big thing is... I'm gonna wait to upgrade Gelmir and... Gelmir Staff and... Prince of Death until I actually get Bell Bearings for it. Given that... Well... Okay, there we go, nice. Okay. Be able to get a few more in the snowfield, hopefully. We'll see. Honestly, seem to be out as many somber uh, ancient dragon spinning stones lying around as plus nine ones that appear. The plus nine ones are technically dragon stones, too. Hmm. It. Snowfield isn't big, but it's pretty dense. I. Let's pop this stupid thing. I don't even care anymore. And let's put. 
bow on, and then I think, yeah, we'll take that off so I don't just die. Then we can take, you know, Drake plus two, and the only one we don't have at plus two right now is Bolt Drake, which presumably is going to be in Farm Zola also. Frank has shield plus two, which is in Farm Zola. The great shield is in AoE Tree, actually. I, okay, there we go. That was about as, the boat was about as heavy as Bloodhound's Fang, interestingly enough. Let's find a spot to get through and then shoot some things. Presumably those doors will, well, those gates are all opening up. Yep, that won't let me go in yet. All right, cool. Moonblade, we got Sentry's Torch, we need to put all of those things on here instead. And that, oh, puts me at heavy. Great. Ooh, hmm. I, we can just take these off. That's fine. Okay, then. I'll just Golden Vow it up and uh, I, that would probably be useful figure out where that archer is and start shooting. Hmm. Well, that's in the offhand, I think. Let's go up and shoot that archer who should be around here, presumably. Oh, that's right. I need to re-equip the bone arrows. Right, okay. Always craft more. And, oh, okay. Huh. Did that knock you off, or... Where that send you? Oh, hello, I, all right, and can I? Okay, can I? Mmm, that's a little painful. Hmm, can I just keep shooting? I can. Okay, I, well, all right. Hmm, huh. I, well, I somehow managed to strafe that, luckily enough, and just do that to catch, and there we go, cool. That was, Annoying. Well, all right, I should have Jules Moonblade in here, and here's somebody somewhere. I right? there is that uh, gold knife. It's oh right, because I have the wrong torch. I I may be stupid. Okay, there we go. I oh come on, you goddamn. Okay, and can I? Okay, can I? Slash, 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 slash. I oh well I. Uh, okay, Karian Greatsword is slower. Oh, well, it. This one is too slow. Okay, alright, and can I. Mm, dodge. It seems as if Karian Greatsword is ever so slightly faster. Because I. Oh my goodness. I. Uh, really? Okay. Can I. One, two, three. For also, the stamina consumption is also quite painful. Oh, Ghost Gold I wonder if that one responds. I... Let me just check, but it does seem as if normal current greatsword is ever so slightly faster. Maybe it might be a casting speed issue. If I had a Radagon icon, I might be able to just trap more adequately, but... Let me just see. Hmm, it does seem a little faster, actually. But... Let me see. I... I don't know. I presume that Radagon icon would... Maybe help, but just try that real quick and see if it makes a noticeable difference. I. It makes a tiny difference. Hmm. I should try that again. Question is how many. Individuals in whom would be in the ever jail, but it, hmm, it's tough. 
I think these ones might also just be a little faster and more intimidating. It wouldn't surprise me. Uh, so the question is whether they respawn or not. Because if they don't, I could slowly sort of work them down, but... Mm. Oh, whatever. I'll wait. Thank you, and can I... That... Well, that one stays. So that one stays. So... Let's just start shooting. Thank you. And you over there are. Dodge and can I shoot? Thanks. And for you. Get up, Will. Oh, okay, alright. Hmm. There's some issues with timing there. And there we go. I oh, okay. Hmm. A little imperfect. Either way, I think. Should hopefully be able to get them down with the Moonblade now. Or not. I actually don't hear anyone coming. Huh. I think there's a good chance that they don't respawn. If so, that's very, very nice. I can focus on working them down and hopefully not overextend myself like too much. And I okay, of course. Alright. Amazing. I okay. And can I... Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and... Oh, okay, interesting. Can I... Oh, I did not expect to get the stance break like that. Okay, well, I... Huh. I could just use that as an opportunity, and I probably should, to Reposition and... Well, I... Okay. Thanks. I... Hmm. Interesting. This is a very, very good option for dealing with them. And it does seem that they aren't going to respawn. Which is, again, very, very good. For me. I should just re-equip normal Blessings Boon, honestly. Instead of Blessing of the Urgery. Doer, Moonblade. Hmm. Should be one. Not close. Presumably. And I believe the wiki said there were five Black Knife Assassins in the Everjail. Raises the question of why they're here. Okay. Hmm. Looks like an Albinoric Archer. Uh, are they going around the edges, or...? Hmm. Really is just a question of how many are there. And of course, if you want to be silly, you can just jump off and die. Don't want to do that, though, obviously. Hmm. Sentry's Torch is... pretty crucial here. So what else and where? Anyone down here, or...? Hmm. Where am I going to find the remaining black knives? I guess- Oh, and there you are. There you are. Okay. Alright. And, of course, we don't have Golden Val on anymore because nothing good can last. Thanks. Cool. And one more. There we go. So let's heal up and stamina up. And can I- Hmm. Thanks. One. Two. Three, four, five. Okay. Cool. Awesome. This is another one of those in Ordina Everjail. That. How many? Yep, there are four of them and they don't respawn. Okay. Since we found the last one, we will, we will be home free. Alright. This is more or less just for fun. It is pretty fun, though. Honestly. Hmm. Just gotta find the final assassin. Wherever she is. And then take her out. 
should be more in the middle of town then. I. Hmm. Is that an item of some sort or. Oh, a nickel is literally just in the Everjail itself. That's fun. Hmm. I wonder how closely stuff inside and mix the stuff outside. Oh, Alright, I we need to keep a buff up in case things come and try to get me. Or items in here and okay, there we go, cool. Alright, get in here. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and can we just get one cast in? I that was not worth it. Okay. Alright, and can I that projectile does not go nearly far enough to make that work. Okay. Hmm. Come on. Thanks. I. Good at staggering. And here we go. So we don't have to worry about any of that garbage anymore. Good. Let's get up on the rooftops, though. That's an interesting question. Some other items, but... It does look a bit like Celia. Honestly, which makes sense, but still. Hmm. So clearly this is going to be... Hmm. Take you out. We're going to need... Where is that archer? Another Elmenoric archer was around here somewhere, but I... Don't quite see where I was being shot at from. Let's see. Also, I don't need the torch anymore. Which is nice. Being shot at from somewhere. They reposition or I can't quite tell. I where am I being shot at from? I okay over there. That's a really really awkward angle. Hmm, for me at least. Hmm. Okay. All right, and can strafe pretty easily, but I cannot. Oh, I oh my goodness. I okay. I what? God damn. It's one of the most legitimately vile areas in the game. Big thing is, I, I honestly shouldn't even use the bow. I hate this place. I really do. It really, really sucks. Hmm. It... I mean, the big thing is, those assassins are dead now. They're not coming back, so it's just a matter of surviving the rest, but still. What I should have up is... Spell Drake plus two. Yeah. Then I can try shooting, it's just... One of them is just so inaccessible physically. My load is actually a pretty meaningful constraint. I can't really use any of my weapons right now. Hmm. We're over there. Last I recall. Hmm. To shoot up there would be its own problem. Let's. Through and through. There we are. Okay. Can I... Hmm. And... Take that and shoot. Thanks. So where is she now? I... Hmm. Me win sniper duel. Shoot. And... One more. One more. And... Shoot, I... Okay, there we go. So, at the very least, she's gone now. But the question is... is at least one more in here, and I need a way to actually... Get up there to take her out. I... It's fun to handle this with a bow. It is. It's definitely different. But... Crystal dart... How am I going to get up and shoot her? I should 
let's see me around here and start firing, presumably, soon. I would hope. Hmm. Where is... We're over there, then. Do I have Golden Val up? I should. Thanks. And... Oh, he just got knocked off entirely. Fun. And this is a lot like Celia. In a certain sense. And then we light the flame. We need four of those, I believe. Hmm. Let's go down and take her out. Wherever she is now. Probably that ceiling, more or less. Hmm. Decent amount of items in the Everjail. But I... Oh, okay. Thanks. Alright. And can I... Shoot, and... Shoot again, and... Continue to... Shoot. There we go. Okay. Hold bang, and... Arrow. Hmm. Just... If I keep firing from that position, it will continue to consume. Okay. So you can hold position there without any real problem. That's important to know. Can I use this as a way up? I bet I can. Hmm. I just... The strength of those archers is kind of crazy. The big thing is that I do need to be using talismans for defense, which is... Normal and understandable, but still a little annoying. I... Okay. So how am I going to reach her, then? Oh, come on. I, all right, I, wait, what? Well, first, we get Golden Val up. And a bit of that, a bit of this, and then snipe it. Well, before I could also use Flame Protect. The question is just, how am I going to reach her from there and... The answer is probably not. Okay, I, oh no, that's Flame Protect, not Flame Grant Me, because Flame Grant Me is actual ass. Especially at this point, because it just does not last long enough to be worth using in a lot of cases, so I... Oh, come on. And how... How can you hit me without me being able to hit you? Well, the answer is NPC Privilege, but... Uh, sniper duel is going to be vile. Who is this to get up top? I can. Okay. I, wait, what? How are there? There are two? Two? Okay. So how am I going to hit? The big thing is if I manage to run in, I could definitely take them out easily with Bloodhound's Fang, and that is definitely what I should actually do here. Just run in and dodge their arrows, and oh my goodness, thanks. I, okay, come on, I, okay, cool, can I, one, two, three, four, and, well, okay. Yes, I, <sighs> basically, Latena. Hmm. Go up over, light this one, and then get more items around here. Question is whether the Everjet will chain will close on its own after I light all these. It probably would, given that it's that is how all the other Everjets worked. Presumably. Okay. And you can only use arrows. Okay. But it does seem as if this is the only thing that's really left. Okay. Hmm. So I guess we can go around trying to pick up more items, but... Uh, this place is interesting. This one's just right there, and I didn't exactly face that. Okay. Question is, am I going to need to return to the entrance now, or will it close on its own after I light the final... Torch, brazier thing. That last one is over there. 
question is how I'm going to reach it. Oh, also, right, I do have runes in here. That's right. I just... This stuff is funky. And, yeah, we can get this from here, and then the funnel light is over that way. So I'm gonna have to do another funny bit of jumping shenanigans. Presumably. Well, to be fair, I could have reached that from another spot, too. It's just another way to get there. Up, yeah. Well, it... It's finicky. Come on. Come on, I... Of course, I need, I need to go from inside. Please, please, please. Mm -hmm. Just go over that side and come over this way. Quite the last one, and there we go. Probably need to get on this chimney. Hi, how are you doing? Huh. Oh, there's just a ladder there. Okay. That's your personal business. Thank you. Good luck with that. What do you what do you mean by that? Seal is broken in town. Okay, and then that closes it off. Interesting. Is there gonna be anything else in Ordina? Or now that the seal is broken, is there anything else in here or Big thing is, I can actually go to a halo tree now. It- not everything has to be a competition. That's an obnoxious habit you have. You can try blaming it on being Italian. Okay. So this will just teleport me to the halo tree. Oh, it starts like this. And this is- what is this one then? It's on here. Maybe so. Okay. Hmm. Okay. But... It... So, why is she over? If... Why is she here if your sister can't even talk to her? It... Okay. It's just... Yeah, come over and have my sister talk to you instead of me. It... That sounds like an Italian thing to do. Okay. Sacramental Bud 3. Fountain 2, the Halo Tree. And that over there is... Is that Gelmir? That... Yeah, that looks like Gelmir. Oh, okay. About it... Is your, is your sister a lesbian? Okay. Mm. Keep on going. What is it? Okay, right. Using the secret medallions. So Ready to the land of the Halo Tree. Led you to the land of the Halo Tree. I'd expect to find Melania there. Mm. She who fought Radan to a standstill. Well, if the Scarlet Rot hasn't eaten her away. Well, we'll find her and fight her. Yep, taken. Oh, okay. Lost myself for a moment there. The information you shared is of great value. Should be Black Flames. Protection. Your reward. Have fun. A secret right. Known only to only. You are a true fellow. You remain constant. There we go. Black frame flames protection. Physical damage negation, black fire within, increasing physical negation, sacrifice other forms of HP restoration are impaired, all embraced by Glomide Queen, black flame was their armor within. Alright. Hmm. But in order to get holy protection, take a bit more. Well, I suppose we can just go through the rest of the area now. Took a while. 
So actually, we might want to change out some of my stuff and spells. I... Deathrite Bird should be around here, I think. Oh, hello. How are you doing? Good to see you and talk to you again. Been a while. How are you? Okay, so what I do need to do is use... It's going to be a Deathrite Bird around here, which means... I should probably use these to buff up. Yeah, we got this Sacred Order Dagger. Let's put on... This is decent. Oh, nice! How is that going? Any family updates? Hmm, pest threads, pest threads. Where is that again? It should be right over here. That corner, which made it a little annoying, but if we make it nighttime, I should put on bare gold. That'd be a good buff there, but since I can't use this without a. It's way too inconvenient to use right now. A 38 is not going to be something I hit most likely. Unless, maybe I could do that for serious boss fights, but... What's going on? Good to see you. How'd you match, Denshi? Till nightfall. It... Do you prefer night? Mm -hmm. You can always go back to sleep if you want. I'm not going to stop you. Hmm... The main thing is, I do need to put Sacred Blade on this for the Death Rite Bird. Ah, interesting! So what did you- what are you learning? Let's put on... Sacred Blade on this thing, it should be good. There we go. Hmm. This might be a little annoying, frankly. But... A clearing in here is supposed to have... A death right bird. So I find that. And take it down and wait, someone invading? Who Sanguine Noble or Wait. What? Oh, Anastasia Tarnishitter is here. Well that's right, and she drops Somberstone. That's right. Well, okay. Fine. Golden Vow should be Fine. Then we'll... Hmm. This is annoying. Sacred order. Thanks. And then... Oh, right. I, and I need Star Scourge to even use that thing. That's right. So let's... Oh, my goodness. Okay. I. All right. All right. I, oh, right. I, heal, heal. I need to take off a good amount of these stupid things to even use any of this. So I, Yep, there we, there we go. There we go. I, I'm in such a bad position. What do, you, what do you mean by that? You always say these very provocative things without any lead-up or context, and I just wonder what you mean. Come on. Come on. I want and Oh my... Okay. Uh, oh, that's... Yeah, that... It's a bit provocative, frankly. Okay, well, now you're dead. Oh, Large Nails Damascus Steel. So there's our somber dragon smithing stone. Let me just see. That's at plus nine. Oh, how to sharpen a blade. That's interesting. So what? What could you tell me about that? Okay. Hmm. Okay. That's twenty grand for a level, but. The big thing is, we can level this to... Oh, a Zweihander! Oh, that's fun. And he doesn't have anything to say about making a god-slaying weapon, because we made one before we even got to Altus. Oh, okay. So it wasn't permanently damaged or anything, it was just a matter of not being sharpened correctly at first. So it should be fine now, right? Hmm. Big thing is... Anastasia invading caught me off guard. Should be... I'm just gonna look up where that death right bird is. There are a number of enemies around here that are 
pretty annoying. Death right bird in. Oh, it's by the apostate derelict. The head of the frozen river. Southeast of the apostate derelict at night. Guess I could go there now. So fight it. Surprised why? What about it specifically? It. Because ostensibly we're all raised with it. And then. Something invisible. I wonder if it'll be a smithing stone or something else, but. Go over to Apostate and Derelict, and then we'll summon a Lieutenant to, and I think she's going to be another somber Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, but I honestly don't need all that many of them right now, which is kind of weird to say. This is Mogiron Omen, your blood is cursed. Give him back. Give Lord Nicola back. Ends in such precious flesh. They didn't know. Okay, using a whetstone and a grinder. Okay. Makes... Oh, and there that... That one is over there. Ah, uh, and yet this is the single... Walking mausoleum with actual offensive capabilities. And oh my goodness, that is... Actually lagging the game a bit. Huh. Gotta find a place to approach it and dig it down. But I... Oh. I definitely want to have... Some magic boosting talisman up right now, but should be, and yep you're right over there, cool that's, oh my goodness oh my goodness oh, okay, so it's differences in who's good at what and that went far oh, this is a little worrying, actually because I won't have a good way to get back cool rune and, oh please so is that thing being hit by the magic, or... Let's just... Golden Vow. Barrier of Gold. And then the rest, we will... Use Sacred Order. And then... Put this on Sacred Blade, and we should be okay, hopefully. Depending on how long those buffs last, which should be a good amount of time. Thank you, thank you, I, alright, oh, I, okay, and, oh, please, I, right, dodge, and can I, thanks, I, oh, my, okay, alright, I was not expecting this much, uh, I, dodge, and I, slam, and, oh, that was really, really good damage, okay, I, dodge, okay, I, okay, can I, slam, oh, nice, and we can get the stance break, and that's a kill, okay, cool. There are also Knights Cavalrymen around here, but I... I... Oh my goodness, I... Okay. Come on, come on. Why is there... Uh, of course the Octopus interferes right now. So it's a Ghost Flame, and can I... There we go, let's just... Slam the Octopus to death. That works. That actually worked really well. Okay. Well, I... Let's go back here, actually. It's gonna be really annoying to take that. Mausoleum down. Get a level. What is it? What's going on? Hmm. No. Sometimes I will, I'll wear a jacket with a hood sometimes, but... Like I said, I don't wear anything that doesn't open in the front. Sorcery of the Servants of Death. Strike the ground to death. Trigger an explosion of ghostly that burns the surrounding area. Time there was no urgery. Death was burning ghost flame. Death birds were the keeper of that fire. Can't use that spell. Yeah, it... For better or worse, I would agree with that. Get a little bit more arcane. And we need about... A little over 8,000 more for a... That's fine to use. For one more level, and I guess vigor is always good to get more of. Mm, it... I'm actually starting to feel the pain here. The sharpen. Oh, that's cute. Sharpen. Ah, okay. It, because you all do Hema, right? I think you said that some time ago. Let's take that and take this. I just remember people talking about Forget, you know, one of the big Hema guys, people were talking about, 
I forgot I didn't have anything on my legs. Some of them are sort of falling out of favor in the community for various reasons, which is always sad to hear about. But, it's supposed to be a lot of... Frankly, there isn't a lot over here. It's not a big area, it's just... There are lots of things to fight. Oh! Oh, wow. Oh, I actually... That makes sense. I didn't even think about it. But yeah, it makes sense that, you know, Hima would not have actual sharp weapons being used. So... Level... I've got black flame right now, but what I should do is... Well, I don't have... Lord's Divine Protection yet. What I do have is... I guess I could use... Flame Grant Me Strength one more time, because there is going to be... A single... Urdry Avatar. Over there, right, I have Burn of Flame. No, that's right. Over by that minor Urdry. It... It's kind of sad that there's no way to really get rid of the snow. It This area reminds me a lot of Frozen Outskirts from Dark Souls 2, which was like this, but worse, because there wasn't much of anything, and also there was no map in-game to show you where to go, so if you didn't know where you were going, well, you were just kind of SOL. I also need to farm a few more of these foul feet. That'll be okay, though. Town's over there, and this is going to be the final minor urgery, so I think that'll mean getting every, not every tier, every crisp tier should be. Thank you, and oh my goodness. It, these guys are just so strong for no reason. Poor frogs. But we should be able to go up to the minor urge tree and test out the very, very strong fire spell I picked up from Fire Giant Remembrance. And slash, oh, I, okay. Big thing is, if I go for a big... Jump, I can- Oh, how did I avoid that? That was nice. Three, and can I- Oh, I- Oh, lord. Thanks, I- Well, this- I didn't even manage to bleed it until it had already died. Surprise to me. So let's swing again and follow up. Hmm. But to get up over there- Okay, I need to go farther over in that direction then, it seems. Lots of scarabs around here. But for what it's worth, I did get... Oh. New model is well and truly done. I'm just wondering when specifically... Oh! Is that the only place where we see big guardians? There might be by... In the Halo Tree itself, but... Basically, I'm... Figure out when I want to start using it, because I gotta... Do some testing and... Basically figure out how to use it perfectly, but things will actually look pretty different pretty soon, which is nice. So, should be a Urgery Avatar around here, I think. I, wait, is there no Urgery Avatar here? Or am I just looking at the wrong side? It... Something seems a bit... Oh, okay, it's just over there in that corner. Okay. That's interesting. Let's take that. Take the flask. Golden bow. Flame grant me. Grail, and then we... Use our fire buff. Hello, putrid avatar. And there we go, we can... Roll I... Okay, and can I... Ooh, oh, Scarlet Rot, that is not great. And really, really good damage. I what? Huh? What? Okay. I did not expect that Rotten Slam. Well, in other words, I overextended myself. I thought I would be able to whip that, and I couldn't. The big thing is that I should have used Black Flame's protection, honestly. I have a lot of... I had to farm some Runarchs earlier because I actually ran out, which is always embarrassing. But I tried using Grail's Roar there, which frankly might not have been such a good idea. Because is... the startup is 
a bit annoying and it got me in a bad location. I really wanted to... Wait, okay. It's a guardian over there that sees me. Nice thing is that with a jump attack on Fang, I can actually reliably one tap, and which does surprise me that they're actually less durable than those Albinorix. I would have expected maybe the other way around, especially since these ones are so big. Well, whatever. I'll live. The main thing is, if I don't need that, I can equip full Bulgo. That's good. So, Blessing's Boon. Probably take this. Golden Vow. Flame grant me. Guess we can go Grails. And maybe. The big thing is I've got more health now. Hello, and... I've... Oh, well, I... interesting. Not expecting that, so can I... Oh, well, I... Good poise, but it's not everything. So I can try to get as close as I can, and then we can burn it. Okay, I... Oh, my... Well, it's really, really good damage. I, okay, and... Well, alright. Just the... Rod is really, really nasty. Damage dealt there was very, very strong, though. Uh -huh. And I already don't have Flame Gram anymore, which is crazy to think. Thanks, and burn. Burn, and... Can I dodge? Okay, there we go. Nice. Okay, cool. So that should be the final couple of crystal tears for the flask. Ruptured and thorny tier. Thorny cracked tier and the ruptured tier and that. That's one that explodes. Now we have two of those. Stronger the longer they continue and that's for a short time. That's basically the same as winged sword. I... I'm gonna teleport back to get some stuff back but then I think... I just want to see what's all around this upper segment, because that'll be an easy sort of demarcation. I... The one I liked the most was probably sort of True Moog, Moog Lord of Blood, because, at least in terms of the most memorable experience, because I went and fought him without actually having... I've got Star Scourge on right now? That's... I need to be better at changing these things out. But I could wear Lionel's, but that's actually hideous. Sadly. But I fought him without the Purifying Crystal Tear and without the Shackle. So I didn't have a good way to trivialize him or... Basically, I had to heal through his face transition attack, which was rather difficult. But it was very, very memorable. I actually... Enjoyed it significantly because of that. But it... It was because I went over down to... Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum way early. Before even doing Altus, Gelmir, Lando, and like that. So... Yeah, True Morgoth was fun too. But it was... It went really, really fast to me. Because since I'd done a lot of things out of order, done a lot of sequence breaks... He died in just a few weapon art hits from Bloodhound's Fang. He was interesting when I did my mage build. Because I actually used Comet Azure for that. So, never have I... It... I wonder what your thoughts are on the subject, but... I'm, I'm sure you're aware of the fact that the Hydro Topa's moveset from Genshin is... Pretty significantly based on the Morgoth fight. I... Okay. Oh, well we can... Get a critical on this wolf. Or not. Okay, I... Okay, can I... Oh my goodness. Alright, and... Oh, please, I, Okay, and... Oh my goodness. Heal, and... Can I... One, two, three, and... Oh my... Oh, what? Huh? I just... What is up with that? I swear. Huh. I should use the weapon art, but I... If I'm doing anything, if I'm fighting anything at all, I need Golden Vow. Yeah, I did like it too. I think... It... It was similar without just being a copy. And I think... There, there are a lot of people who have it... Who have a pre-existing animosity. Who were more or less looking for reasons to hate it. And... It... 
it's very, very obvious that there was inspiration there, but it's not as if they copied the animations exactly. And it's, quite frankly, if... Th there's no one who reuses From Software animations more than FromSoft anyway. Okay. Let's level... Sure, I guess we could take Endurance, but... Hmm. Ah, oh, that's still heavy load. Hmm. It just... This is tough. Oh, we still got Golden Val active. But to take down this Wolfback Archer. The funny thing is, is that since Latena is the same kind of enemy, so to speak, she can actually ride the wolves if she's in the area. Thanks. All right, and can I kill? Oh my goodness, I, all right. Thanks, and can I hmm, heal? Uh. Hmm. It's annoying. I, all right. Slash. Slash. There we go. So can we... Yep. Get the grounded critical. Thank you. Now, a lot of people have said the same about the ancestor spirit in relation to the electro seahorse enemy. Well, the electro unicorn seahorse enemy. Which... I think is also legitimate, but at the very same time, this is what people said, you know, about a year ago when that stuff was first coming out, that, you know, there, there are quite frankly limits to what you can make a horse do if you want a horse to fight. So it's, I mean, you can make the argument that it's plagiarism, but it's just, there's only so much you can even do. But in the end, I'm very, very excited for Notlarm. A lot of people have made Monster Hunter comparisons with a lot of the enemies we've seen so far, and, you know, though I have not played Monster Hunter myself, I would like to eventually. I did get World for myself a while ago when it was on sale, so I'm excited to see how things are going to go, and these enemies are absolute damage sponges. It's kind of ridiculous. It... Giant Crusher Sacred Blade still made short work of that Deathrite bird, but it was closer than I would have liked. Hmm. Some other caves around here that I should try to find, and it's just got a decent amount of those ancient dragon smithing stones. Hmm. Let's get a nine one. Ah, uh, it's So what does he think about Mavuika? Because the big thing is is that there was something I saw recently. There were some people talking about the idea that the idea of not one having quote unquote maraudins was basically a mistranslation because the original the thing it was translated from in Chinese is Mu Natana, and Nata is just the Chinese name for Not one, and Mu is an ancient continent, kind of like how Fontaine had Remoria for what? Ooh, okay, had. Lemuria for Remuria, and Sesnaya seems to have Hyperborea. Mu is another one of those sort of occult theoretical continents. Oh, interesting. Did we get... We got their Greaves and their Rotten Great Axe. That's fun. Now, faster with Scarlet Rot. Duelist exiled from the Colosseum, so he's your target for foes. But, essentially, the reason we haven't heard anything about Mu not Lan is because they've started talking about you see this in the Narcissan Quartz quest line. They talk about Natlantean, which is just Natlan combined with Atlantis. And it's the same sort of idea of, okay, our fictional continent combined with sort of occultist fictional continents. But it's also a better pun. But I I am also excited for Mavuika. Yeah, yeah. It's interesting. I'm also excited for Mavuika. She's probably going to be a Claymore, which means more people competing to use my... Oh, my R5 Serpent Spine, but... Also, apparently some people have said that she's probably going to have a... Motorcycle, which is really, really interesting, if so. Oh, and okay, these ones use... Mikola Incantations, and that's right. Hmm. We can keep on moving through here. See how this is going to work. Come on, come on. We're over this way, and can I... 
One. Oh, nice. And... Hmm. The jump attacks are... Jumping heavies are definitely the way to go with this. See, something else are rolling Ashes of War over there. Oh, three. Wow. Which ones? Serpent Spines, Wolf, and what else? Redhorn? This Redhorn is what I would think about in addition to those two. Because Serpent Spine... What I like about Serpent Spine is that... And this is... I actually don't think... Yep, exactly, exactly. I don't think that Wolf's Gravestone honestly looks all that good on Diluc. As someone who has it and has tried using it on Diluc, and part of it is just my innate contrarianism, but the thing about it for me is that with... Okay, so what's up there? And this is... It's more of that. That it, it, it actually matches this color scheme too well. That makes any sense to you. In that... Oh, interesting. So where did it go? Oh, it... Wait. Huh? The big one. Where did the big one go? Did it just disappear entirely? Don't tell me. I... If that one disappeared entirely, I'm not going to be a happy camper. Yeah, yeah, exactly. That it... It just seems a bit wrong. That it doesn't have an interesting color contrast effect like a lot of good weapons have. It looks like clothes. It's not an extension of him as much as it is something he's wearing, as weird as that might sound. Because there, in, in English, there was an American author named Scott McLeod who wrote a book called Understanding Comics. And one of the things he said about weaponry in comics, or fiction in general for the sake of legibility, is that you can't make it too complicated, and it has to be sort of believably an extension of the character. And I think, though I'm saying something a bit different, and frankly it might even contradict what he said, I think that a weapon is more of a limb than an article of clothing. So if it looks more like the clothes, then... And that's something I kind of like about Serpent Spot, is that it is kind of has a flesh tone to it, which does help it look, to an extent, kind of like a limb, more than an article of clothing. But I do like wolves, and I do appreciate wolves basically being a notorious reference. And given that Dewey literally uses the Artorias flip slash Lion's Claw as... Part of his moveset. Which honestly makes it really, really funny to me that they added Savage Lion's Claw. But... Essentially that... Oh, and oh, well, Discus of Light does very little to them. Okay, I... Yeah, that's kind of a joke in terms of damage. Can I... Thank you, and... Oh, that stance broke? Alright. Thank you. And just keep on slashing. Thank you. It... These guys deal so much damage. But... That effectively, Diluc is a notorious reference to an extent. Due to part of his moveset and having a claymore and... Well, also just... The entire Wolf's Gravestone is even more of a... Artorious reference because it's explicitly a claymore. Yielded by a knight who had quote-unquote friendship with the wolves. But I... It's just... How is... How is this guy so resilient? Well, whatever. I'll just keep on cutting these Elven Orcs down. So many of these guys. Is this the one with... Gonna fall down, or... This the one with the Somberstone, or I... Oh, come on. This is... Oh, just three nascent butterflies. That means almost nothing to me. Alright, I... Okay, and... Oh, goodness. Does that deal magic damage, or physical, or... Who knows? Okay. This Begotten Crusader is going to be around here eventually. Hmm. But there are three more dungeons. There's Cave of the Forlorn, Catacombs, and Yellow Annex Tunnel. Last of which is going to have another Estelle fight. And can I dodge? It's so funny how they throw it at me. Oh, nice! So what's the strength intelligence? So are you going for Blide Greatsword then? Or 
When you say strength intelligence, well, I suppose you could also use something like Bastard Stars or Falling Star Beast Claw. Oh, Frost. That's fun. It does... Does Roll Greatsword have Innate Frost? I think it does, right? But it... Okay. Oh, oh, interesting. It, why are you going so long? Okay, well, let's charge it up and get that down. Thank you. One, two... I can get first hit off, it is easy enough. And oh, we got bleed too. Thank you, thank you. Let's just heal up and I probably should have put Golden Vow on. But it I just need to get more high level smithing stones from something somewhere. That would I might be able to survive that. I should not tempt fate. Mm-hmm. But, like I said before, people have been complaining because of leaks suggesting that Mavlika might have a motorcycle. But I don't mind. I think that would be great. One, because, well, it's obviously really cool. Two, because it would be really, really fun for traversal. And three, it... Tavad has very plainly been a sci-fi setting masquerading as a fantasy setting from basically the start. And it was in Windbloom, that Barbara, Barbara hangout where she literally had a plastic cup. You know, they explicitly had plastic in the game, and from the start of the game, they had... Oh, Zweihander! Oh, okay, you didn't know that they had Zweihander in Elden Ring? It, to be fair, is kind of hard to find, because it's from one nomadic merchant in, I think, Weeping Peninsula, if I recall correctly? It's a bit out of the way, which is a bit of a surprise considering that in, well, to be fair, given that it is in Weeping, you can find it pretty much first thing, but in, well, in DS1, it was literally in, literally in the graveyard. There are, well, there are just a lot of things that are harder to find just because of, there are just so many more things, it makes it that much easier for things to fall through the cracks, so to speak. There is a giant crab over there. Well, I... Mm, that's right, I've still got sacred affinity on the giant crusher, so it wouldn't work all that well here right now. I could probably still make it work. Let's just put on Sir Scourge Heirloom to make that work, and mm, that's still tough. Oh, we can redon Greaves to that now. That's nice. Thank you, and... Alright, but it... I don't think they resist... Oh, but since they're Albinoric crabs, I think... They should also be weak to holy. Right, so this might actually work quite well. Depending on how things go, and... Oh, interesting. Thanks. Alright, I... Oh, goodness. Let's go over and see if I can... Sacred Blade, and... Oh my goodness, that does do good damage. Wow, okay, I... Oh my goodness. Thank you. Alright, die. Have fun! I wish you all good luck in your efforts to make art from metal. See you around! And there we- oh, that did not one tap. But he did good damage. I guess I do wonder how much more damage a cult would deal, given that split damage is generally not good. I guess I could try that out once I presumably find Cave of over the forlorn on the other side of this. We'll see. I it Giant Crusher does not have nearly as much AoE as I would expect. It the diagonal nature of that hit is kinda tough, but that said it The strong attack jumping is probably how things want to go and oh my goodness. It should not be this hard to hit a crab. Suppose it's really a matter of free aiming it still. Hmm. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. Come on, come on. Over there we can find some more things. I could definitely get through a decent amount of Halo Tree today if I play my cards right, but I something else is oh we gotta use that octopus to break that, presumably. Okay, cool. Let's just full go and 
bull goat. Thank you, I. All right. You should be able to break this down. I hope. Get over here. Get over here. What are you... Were they spitting something, or... What? But I think Cave of the Forlorn should be past here. We'll see. Get over here. Get over here. Need you to... Hold on. Just... Just ink? I need you to get in close. Come on. When are you gonna go on a rampage? I... Okay. Cool. We will. Were you slowly but surely over to the statue? Oh, well, there was another. Okay. Strip of white flesh. Oh, that's right. We should use... Golden Vow. Alright. There we are. Okay, cool. And you gotta jump when that's finished, or can I... Thanks. Uh, there we go. Oh, well, even not hitting the beak. Still got the amount of sand sandwich we needed. That's good. And charge and get bottle loss. And cut. And is that it? Yep, that's it. This is a... Just three smithing stone eights. That's passable, I suppose. Nothing amazing, though. Should have some more caves in here, then. Main thing is, I need to... Oh, look, another octopus. Just what I like to see. Not. And this is presumably Cave of the Forlorn. Okay, I... There we go. We'll just open this thing. Slash. And... Chop. And, you know, just one more. Cool. Normal hits. Takes two stone sword keys to get inside here. Well, alright. That's okay. Hmm. Sword key also the use, but I... Once I get eight more levels, I could actually just take Faith to 33 so that with a Runark up, I could use Blessing of the Urgery instead. This is going to be all misbegotten. I recall correctly. Let's see how that works. Hmm, so I don't want to go in here right now, so let's mark that. Hmm. The Anastasia invasion was unfortunately a surprise to me. But once we get through here, we can kind of wear around the rest and then, yeah, heal a tree. Hmm. So then, so then, anything, oh, it's, is this Great Worm Theodorix, or, is this, yeah, is that Great Worm Theodorix? It might be. I, well, it's something, and whatever it is, I will go out of my way to make it work. The heaviest armor, flame grant me, grails and pest threads. Hello. And that. Well, yep, it's Grey Worm Theodorix. Okay, cool. Alright, I. Oh my goodness. Okay, cool. Thanks, and can I. I. Oh my goodness. Okay, alright, I. Okay. Thanks, Pest Threads is here, and oh my goodness, you are hard to do things to, or with. Okay, well, alright, I. Hmm. We need some of this then. I was not expecting to be all the way over here. I. What's Golden Vow? Flame Grand the end. Can I... Mm, of course it's Theodorus' magma that I... Can I... I... Dodge, dodge. Okay. Cool. I, oh my goodness. Okay. Can I... Go for the head or what? Can I... Mm, oh my... Okay. I... Oh my goodness. I... Alright. Not great. Mm, who then do I... Oh. Oh my goodness. Alright. Can I... This is not actually amazing for... Well, it's good damage, but it's still tough. Hi. Thanks. And... Is this... Yep, that's all. Cool. Anti-dragon on it. Great enemy successfully fell. And now we can use a new draconic power at the Cathedral of Dragon Communion. Fun. And that should be enough for every single... Every single incantation in the base game. I would presume that 
Well, I'll be able to get more for Ghost Flame Breath. Yeah, I'll have enough for Ghost Flame Breath as soon as I kill a single Ghost Flame Dragon. That won't be a problem at all. Hmm. Come on, come on. Hmm. What is in here? Nothing. A fort. Night. I was not expecting to just run into that thing as quickly as I did. Well, okay, let's just jump over here. Get, is this just a... Right, this is just a so, somber... No. Regular ancient dragon smithing stone. Okay. Question is what I want to use that on. I... Huh. Yep, why behind, why beyond time? And it's just... I have a lot of those. We haven't used a single one. I... You have a somber spoon. Also have. I used it on the Golden Order seal. That's right. Which wanted to do really, really good damage to Theodorx. Honestly, as cool as Grail's Roar is, I should not have started off the fight with it. I should have just started immediately spamming past the Reds to get the drop on it, especially since he was asleep. That would allow me to maximize the amount of hits I'd be able to deal with. Easy hits I could deal instead of having to. Oh, instead of having to dance around him. That said, it, as good as nice as Flame Brantley's strength was, it would have been better to have maybe Black Flame's protection, actually, given that the fire attacks were not actually that big a part of his moveset. Or to the extent they were, they were rather easy to avoid. The Magma's moveset was really more about the Scale Sword than the Magma Breath attacks, which is interesting, I suppose. Hello there. Hi. Can I? Oh, interesting. There we go. Cool. And now we can get the critical off. And... Oh, that was what brought the bleed. Fun. Okay. One. Two. There we go. Mm -hmm. I do have a decent amount of runes right now. It. This this definitely is the power leveling area, especially considering that this is kind of the equivalent of Arch Dragon Peak for this game. Because it's peak. But that. Oh, it. I guess the question is how good would Pest Threats be against Estelle? Probably not all that good. It's got a big head, but a pretty thin body. Being able to actually hit it reliably is. With all the hits of Pest Threads is questionable. It, as far as Zula dragons are going to be pretty good fodder, though, so. Should have also put Blessing this boon on. It's also true. Question is, how can I... Well, alright. Let's just... Interesting. So, where is... Luckily, even if they're evasive, they're simple to kill. So, where is that... Scarab going to go. Big thing is, I should put on Alabaster Lord Sword for this. Just wait until it comes over to me. Until it approaches me and cannot. Boom, and there we go. And this is White Shadow's Lure. It's going to be a cult. Interesting. That. A cult affinity. Hold armament in a brief sound prayer. Create a White Shadow. Wears in foes of human build, not in combat. Drawing aggression. Like the Lindemi humans, even if they're already in a combat state, and all melee armaments. Slightly easier target for foes. Presumably the other pieces would come from normal duelists. Maybe. But that... Apostate Derelict. Hmm. Down around here, but... Well, the rest I did not really reach or touch. Well, there are also, of course, Dragonkin soldiers around here. Oh, well, there I- oh, okay. Did not expect this much from Kaiden Cell Swords. I could- okay. Huh. Alright. 
Hmm, interesting. Let's kill the rest of you before taking the cell sword on, but should be fodder for the stitcher, presumably. It You know, as good as I don't know, Helix is for Oh my goodness. Okay, fun. Not really. I okay, I alright. I oh my I hear something. I hear something and I wait, what is Lightning Orb? Oh my goodness. Forgot about you. I there we go, and can I hit one more time? Good damage, and we even dealt some counter damage from that. Fun. Uh, but okay, those lightning orbs, now that I've triggered them, should be gone now, I think. But this is what is this? Is this stone sword key? Well, whatever. Here, somebody or something coming. I know that eventually we get. Oh, Dragon soldiers showing up, but. Hmm. This really is just the land of the Halo Tree. Hmm. I. will probably have to farm more rune arcs. It. It's not fun. It's not nice to say, but it's probably true. Hmm. Got more of these wandering nobles. I get the feeling that I'd make turtle shops somewhere. I should bring that mausoleum down. For one, it would make a number of things much easier. Main thing is, I need... If I had Barrier of Gold right now, that would be real nice. Fortunately, I have to settle for Spelldrake plus two. And Golden Vow. Well, Blessing is Boon and Golden Vow. So, it's time to... Take on the one walking mausoleum with any kind of defenses, and that is... A nightmare for my frame rate. Alright. You are going to approach. Hmm. Come on, come on. You just need to stay out of the way of that. Make sure they're... Oh, if they come down near me, I just need to avoid them. I... Is that... The main thing is... Once the approach is done, there's not much else I really need to deal with. Just need to make sure it stops, but... Ah, it's annoying. Now that we've approached successfully, should be home free. I wonder if the damage scales with the area at all. How it determines how much damage the stomps do here. Okay. Should be one more on that way. Got Okay, cool. Once one leg moves, it should be stable for some time. But, oh, it seems as if this one is different in a bad way. Okay. Come on. Break a few more. Just, I get the feeling that it would be instant death if I got crushed by this one specifically. And, come on. I, oh, and it's coming down. Good stuff. Okay. That's all done and dusted. Lovely. Which means... We can, of course... Open this up and mark it for later for when I want to actually duplicate remembrances. I definitely need to get Scarlet Aeonia. There's no way around that. So, here it is. And Apostate and Derelict is where we can summon Latena. But it... Crimes against frame rate have been suitably punished now. Cool. Hmm. Here we can go to Abbasi and Derelict, and here is the giant Albanoric woman. Hello there. That silver mirror shield and oh, summon Latena. Ah, okay. We had a giant lover. Radiant silver, festooned with amber, carried by Loretta Knight by the Hailing Tree. Take that of a sacred drop of dew, inside the absurd rumor that Loretta herself was an Albanoric. Huh. Amber. But a magic, good magic negation. Right, we can summon Latena here. Hello. For free. Nice. Blessing drop within and create life for us. 
Rule Yalvanorix. Bird didn't drop it. Thank you. I finally fulfilled Which wasn't to go to the Haywood tree, but to give Our her power. Tarry sister will mm. give us up. Now that nothing is left unfinished, I will join you in battle to the bitter end. There we go. And when the fighting is done, then you may lay me to rest. Beside Lobo, my dear wolf. Mm -hmm. All right. Birthing Droplet. Gotta wonder what that is specifically. There are two Knights Cavalrymen in Snowfield. Just gotta see where they are. It's Cavalry in the Snowfield. Yep. Oh, there's just one in Consecrated Snowfield. Okay. Huh. On the map that's in two okay too many bosses okay too many bosses over near the start of the area okay makes sense i let's keep on moving it if i weave now if i rest now things will respawn and i would prefer to postpone enemy respawning as long as i possibly can we got a couple of birds, we got some of you, though to be fair, I need more foul feet. Can I make- I can't make a single one of these. So before I fight another mini-boss, I should try to rest somewhere and take down other things, but once I get everything sort of around... Hmm, much to think about. Just a bunch around here. And these ones sometimes actually drop. Between it as lilies themselves, which is nice. Okay. One. Two. Okay. Over and the rest is... Use... Lightning Spear for that. What I should do is... I need to get the Dragon Gold Seal out of inventory. Because I honestly completely forgot that if I hold Dragon Cult Seal in the other hand while casting using Golden Order, it will boost Lightning Spear damage and by a decent amount too. I'm going to need that for Loretta mainly. She's weak to Lightning and every little bit of damage is going to help in that fight. In any fight really. Over here is Somberstone 9, very nice. Ancient Sniffing Stone, Train of Color. Dragon Rock, but Orge Puller, Orge Puller, Orge Gold, Gold, Orge Hard, Hard, Orge Shard. Hmm. Ancient Sniffing Stone, Ancient Dragon Rock. This is ancient, but not apparently. Dragon Rock, so this ninth is its own separate thing. Dragon Rock, but this, if it was a gravel stone, which, well, presumably it would be, doesn't mention that explicitly in the description. I... Let's go and take things down with the Stitcher, but... I just... Hmm. Take this to... Take it to 22. It's an idea. Hmm. It's just... There is, in fact, a lot, so to speak. But... Should be... Put this back on. And also, right, I can... Re-equip. Honest to goodness. I'll take this. It... It's only a little, but... It... Still nice. Synergizes with Urtree's favor. Every little bit helps. Actually, that was kind of negligible. I'll put on Green Turtle again. Hmm. Tough choices to make here. But I think, honestly, I'll keep going until I find where the Knight's Cavalry are. 
Try to get everything except that, and then farm a couple more foul feet, and then fight. And that's cavalry. How many are in here? At least I can't inadvertently kill the butterflies like a like a this was Genshin. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Mm. And oh, because we actually eliminated that group. Fine. I there's a giant one around here somewhere, I think. It I know that when I was fighting the Huh? When I was finding that death right bird, there was that giant octopus that showed up just to mess me up. Oh, it's on the wall. Okay. Huh. Alright. Fun. Okay, there you are. There you are. So can I charge it? There we go. Did that bleed? Yeah, I think that did bleed on its own. This thing is very hemorrhageable. Okay. Yeah, that's why I'm doing so much damage, not just that I'm hitting the head, but that pretty much every hit is crocking bleed. Alright. We have all of my class back, so... We can continue on a merry way. I know that I went up here already and found something. But in the interest of being thorough, let's try that again. Thank you, thank you. Alright. Hmm. Yes, yeah, so we unlocked the Cave of the Forlorn, but follow this river around some of the parts here. All the Norca rises over there. The main thing is making sure that I can. Oh. Provoke. So to speak. Not provoke, but. Fight some of the. All the Norca rise requires. Making imps fight each other. You can do that with spirit summons, or you can do it with crystal darts, but... The only time I've done spirit summons so far is... Summoning... Oh, and you are... Huh? Oh, this is just a spirit, I guess. Summoning that jellyfish in Stargazer's Ruins, and I do not intend to... Summon... Anyone else, unless absolutely necessary. Which it should not be. So. It's pretty much not happening. Rodina, which Richard Town, is there anything else in here? We got stuff in here, presumably. It. I think the items are shared between yeah, Evergel mode and normal mode. At least some of them. At least I would presume that anything you can find in normal mode is going to be findable. Well, anything you can find in Evergel mode is going to be findable in normal mode, too. It'd be weird for some of that to be missable, frankly. I could see it, though. So... Huh. Let's see who and what else is in here. Let's see a wolf and... Oh, okay, so... Interesting. So, to a certain extent, they demarcate where the statues are. Kinda. Yeah, because they're standing over there. But this is three slumbering eggs. That is interesting to me. Why and how they end up over there. Let's just keep on looking and I'm going to, well, I could actually right use that and then how much more and where. Thank you. I want to make sure that any items might be here get looted. Can I? Oh, please, please. Come on, yo. Come on. I want to end. Thank you, thank you. What else around here? It. Oh, there's another item here. This is. Oh, nice, actually. I'll take that. I, that means I can die one time without having to go back and farm again. Hmm. What else ends? 
races over there, and just so many weird little anomalous night spots with seemingly no explanation for why they exist. Mm, well, it got some items, so content myself with a bit of that. So anything over here, or I, uh, come on, this is a bit annoying, can I, please, please, I, there we go, have mercy, I, oh, what, whoa, 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 okay, please, please, I, there we go, up top, and where are my, is that, yeah, there is an item over there, come on, this is, Golden Room 12, okay. Could have just tear it up. And yet you see another one of those. Albanoric women. Bond the Albanoric woman. And I definitely cannot go back inside now. It is done. Yep. It's done. Where that duelist was, and presumably. Oh, something else in. Oh, Black Knife set! Okay. I wonder if I had to kill the knives there to get that, or... Assassins carried out the deeds and out of the black knives are all women rumored to be Newman who had close ties with America herself. Increase the power of man, it's concealing veil, muffles the sound of footsteps. Turn to equipping concealing veil. Remember to be Newman. Okay. Oh, so... I didn't even notice that even without a great rune, it's a max HP boost, so like a... An ember, like an ember then. So it's even more similar than I expected. Similar than I thought. So some of, a lot of that HP boost is from the vigor increase though. Because of and the fact that I have Godrix equipped. Go back around that Ur tree, see if there's anything else to find. Hmm. Well, okay. Got a few more fulgur blooms, not that I need them for anything in particular. Mm -hmm. It more stones would be nice, but we've gone around here, the rats is going to be. Working my way down from the apostate derelict, I think. That should work. Here are the guardians. Hello! Slash, and slash. It did not do much damage to me. That's nice. But, Black Flame's protection is a nice option, but... Hmm. Much to think about. And Tarnished Golden Sunflower. It's interesting how they still show up over here. Hmm. What else and where? Hmm. This is where that avatar was, so... What if there's anything else in the area? Probably not. Hmm. You see... You see... That's where the cave was. I worked my way down around here by those Albanorix, so... This sort of clearing over that way, and then, yeah, it's just... Looking my way down from apostate derelicts to find the other couple of caves, and this is where the cavalry should be, more or less. I don't know how much time this all takes. I can definitely beat the first half of Haywood Tree, but Haywood Tree is long. It's basically two legacy dungeons, so... Great dragonfly head, and I hear a scarab here somewhere. What is this going to give me? Looks like, oh, it's just a blue scarab. Okay. One, two, and, oh, another? Okay. And, can I? Dragonfly, dragonfly. Thank you. Trina's lily and the classic obligatory arterial leaf. Amazing. So, may as well break that. I can. Take that there. Since I'm gonna get this back immediately. Okay. Thank you. Oh, I. Okay. Alright. Huh. Thank you. 
Interesting. Interesting. Okay. I'm just gonna continue on my way down. Got a couple more guardians. One more guardian. Is that anything? I right, there we go, cool. And that should be all of them, but since I didn't have any Fwasta for at the moment, it didn't really tell me. So we can just burn that to get a sign of when an enemy group is dead. Okay. Let's keep on going and see. Aha, uh -huh, we got right another Albinoric here. Hello, hello. Enjoying death. And we have gone a while without actually resting. One, two, no, you're awake, so can I slash or not? One, two, three, and I mmm, interesting. Can I fully charge that heavy? There we go, that's actually. Honestly, if I want stance breaks with Bloodhound Swing, as good as the damage is of. As good as the damage of Bloodhound Step is, I mean, Bloodhound's Finesse is, I might actually be better off going for charge heavy attacks. Maybe. What is this up here? What are you? Thank you. I cannot. One. Oh, okay. Oh my goodness. Can I slash it? Really? Okay. Come on. I All right. And please. Uh, okay. And another. And go away. And Somberstone 7. That, that's okay. It's passable. Hmm. Just gonna work my way down. I guess I could use Starlight here. It Honestly, doesn't have all that much effect because it's rather wide out. I and oh, okay, okay. Go ahead, surface like that. I okay. Mm -mm, can I slant it? Oh my! Oh my goodness! This is actually quite worrisome. Okay, die. Then we. Oh, what? Two. And can I? Hmm. Mm -hmm. Not expecting this much. One, two. Three. And how much are we gonna get back? We got one flash from that. Okay. I those guys respawn or something? Cause I went through here already, but they did not show up before. Hmm. That should be I just wanna check, but I'm definitely I've been here. Went down here. That's where I was. Work my way through that central area, go back to the derelict, and apostate derelict. It is interesting, because it, it's clearly a church, it raises the question of what their apostasy was. Given that there is a giant Albanorc resting there, maybe. Golden Order apostasy, maybe. Who knows. Let's work our way. Down here, I... Killed some guys in this area, but... Okay, wolf. Ah, I killed that wolf, but there was another wolf to kill. Hmm. This is... Smithing Stone 8. Oh, Albanork Wolfback Archer. That means it's time. <coughs> ah. Golden Vow. Ring, grab me, and you know what? Let's go all out and just take that. We could even go for Grail's Roar. Hello. And... Where are we? Gotta go. Okay, cool. Alright, and can I... Hmm. Dodge and cut. Oh, goodness. Alright, and can I... Dodge and dodge. Can I... One, two, and... Oh, my... Oh, okay. Can I... Slash, slash. There we go. We got... Good amount of you down. Fine. That's... Albanork Bow, and that. Delicate Silverwork, Albanork Wolfpack Archers, Dexterity over Strength to Master. Okay. Huh. But the only Albanork Wolfpack Archers in here are. 
Who are we Albanoric Wolfback archers in the game are all in the snowfields. Oh. It's a while until you can get that thing, even though its requirements are rather low. Honestly, it... It's sort of... So many of these things are so late in the game that it's just sort of a question of... How would you even... What's the use case for it? Given how blocked off they are, so to speak. It, in the end, I suppose, I don't really need to take down. Well, it, the main thing is, if we hit up the Knight's Cavalry area in the daytime, I can just loot that carriage. And then presumably, well, what I could really do is clear out the area around the carriage during sort of evening, wait until night hits, so that the area is already clear when I fight them. It would be a very strategic way to do things. And I think that's what I'll do. Hmm. So working my way up to the derelict again, and sweeping down in a southeast sort of curvature. Is everything in here I've gotten. I also have a halo tree, side of grace, activated. So around here, if I recall correctly, is where the carriage is with those knights cavalrymen. So if I sort of use this, go through about a third. Use this barrier, more or less. What's interesting is that if you separate into thirds, sort of like this, this, and this, each of the areas basically has its own dungeon to itself, for better or worse. Hello, big balls of lightning. Let's go in and discharge you. Just, uh... Oh, but those respawn, I think. I oh my goodness. Okay. Fine. Not really. Do they? Because they respawn given enough time. Because I killed the Kaiden Sword here. There was lightning there when I did that, but... That was... Oh, it's been so long since I did that that... Their corpses actually disappeared. That is really crazy. That's how long. Okay. Should be... South of here should be Yol Annex Ruins. And that'll be... Some frenzied trolls, among other things. And oh, rotten dogs. Awesome. Crystal darts, which I could use. Um, and what do you know? A rune bear. I, who's invading? Who's invading me? Is this Sanguine Noble, or...? Should be, I think. So, let's just... Yep, okay, invaded by Sanguine Noble. Right, because this is where they teleport to. Oh, uh, teleport is... Oh, there. Hi. And can I... Thanks. Should be simple, then. Hi. And we've got a similar weapon to you, but... Oh, you just got... I Wait, what? I... Oh, come on, you... Really, dog, you're now... I... All right. Stupid, stupid. I, come on, and there we go, and come on. That was more trouble than it had to be. All right, we can get the set now. Oh, boy's cloth and thin beast bones. Interesting. Efficient golden broidery worn by the nobles who serve the Lord of Blood, known as Strike from Pools of Blood. These assassins are missionaries come to serve the gospel of accursed blood. Grand metallic pattern on the shoulders signify on the noble rank they intend to claim upon the advent of the new dynasty they're working to install. Okay, cool. What is fun is that that implies they're all barefoot. Oh, but... Uh, if I'm gonna fight that rune bear, and I am, I need to buff up. And that didn't kill? Well, whatever. Oh, but also I... That's right. They are weakest to... Fire. So Burno Flame would actually probably work pretty well. Okay. Oh, just like this. Then grant me, and then can try to sneak up maybe. And why are there multiple rune bears here? Okay. Come on, come on, getting close. Hi. And dodge. And, oh, what? What? Okay. Huh? Okay. And uh, really, really, uh, come on. Uh, and. Burn, oh flame, and oh my goodness, I, okay, I, actually surprised at how long this, and can I, 
Let's dodge and burn. Nice, that goes down nice and quick. Okay. Thank you. Again, you cannot. Hmm, I, it's a good spell to use here. I, come on. I, okay, alright. Oh, dodge on. Okay. I, oh, that was really, really dangerous in here. I, okay, thanks. I, okay, I, okay, thanks. One more, one more, and. It. That was way too much trouble. Okay. Huh. Peace blood, let's get some buffs back on. <sighs> Golden Vow. Flame grant me. Grail, Burno Flame, and... There was one more. I... Uh, is this one bigger or... Sprint up and... Burno F... Grail's Roar, and... Thank you, cool. I, duh, oh my goodness. Okay, can I... I just need to burn a flame and can I? Thanks. There we go. And thank you. Cool. All right. And we need to dodge. And, oh my. Okay. I, that was trouble. And burn the flame. Thank you. I, all right. Can I try that one more time? And can I just dodge? Can I one more time? And okay. Thanks. I, okay. There, wait, what? Really? Okay. Come on, you. Okay? But one more lightning stroke can do it, so. Die! Okay. Thanks. And. Hmm. Peace blood and gold poop. I just. Rune Bear's being here is funnier to me than it should be. There's nothing even funny about it, other than it just being annoying. Okay. Well, it... the buffs helped, and we did good damage. Bruno Flame worked rather well against it. Big thing is, there's a teleport to Mogwin Dynasty Mausoleum in here, which is supposed to be quote-unquote the normal way of getting there. But I... huh? Is that a... Sanguine Noble? Or... Oh, it's just... Signs. Okay. Cool. Alright, cool. And we can... Burn you pretty capable. And... The fact that it's FP cost is actually rather low is... The craziest thing. It's... Uh... You know, and it's balanced around the fact that you literally need to kill Fire Junk to use it. But it... It is fun that this game's Firestorm is as good as Firestorm was in Demon Souls. Always rolling. This is... So what enemy is going to... This worries me. What enemy around here is actually going to break that for me? I don't see anything. Is it the Rune Bear, or... Use the... Yeah, it's... The bear. Hi. Okay. Come on. Come over. Break this for me. Break this thing for me. It. It's a good thing you chased me so far. Kinda. Okay. Wait, is it gonna chase me this far? It might. Or. Golden Vow. Flint grant me and. Grails. Presumably, but you have to find a way to make it charge off this side of the cliff then. Hello, hello. Can I just... Oh my goodness. Okay, I... Oh, right? Okay, fun. Not really. I... Okay, and really what? I... All right, okay. And just... Ah, uh, please. If I were you over to the edge and... Okay, come on, you. Please, I... What? What? I... All right, I... Dodge and cannot heal and just get down one of these spots. I oh come on you cannot uh you're not even falling off. That's what's really annoying. Golden ruin and hmm need to worry over the edge and it's icy bear. Will you come down? Can you come down here or hmm I just wonder sometimes. It, if you were over here, 
Come on. It. Okay. All right. Mm -hmm. So now we can hopefully path you over this way. Thank you. I dodge. Yep. Now we can do it. Now we can do it. I Come on. Oh my. Oh my goodness. Okay. Thank you. Not really. Thank you. No. Thank you. And just gonna. What? What? Okay. Come on. I okay. And dodge. Can I? And then seven and eight and well that's decent I guess I need to run okay I run over change out my spells and wait until you can path up or not I, okay dodge up oh, well, okay all right thanks uh, thanks okay cool and this should be good kind of uh, dodge can I flame brand me rails not we okay cool that was annoying to Time. Okay, and oh please, I just what is up with these bears? Okay, and that lingering hitbox is actually the devil. Okay, can I? Okay, thanks. Burn. Thank you. All right, and oh that knocked you off somehow. I mean we'll take it, but I can I and dodge. dodge. Okay, can I? Nice, and we have to dodge the grab. So. And charge up it. Well, I really okay. And you rear back away from that, and I just okay. I really okay. I don't what what I just dodge, dodge, dodge. Okay, heal, heal, and I dodge. Can I charge and burn you and roll? I okay, mm -hmm. okay, I heal. Come on, you obnoxious thing. Okay. And burn, burn, and okay, kill. I okay. Thank you. Finally, it. Oh, well, we got some of them back. Huh. It. It's kind of crazy, just how much tougher the rune bears often are than actual boss enemies. Okay. Well, we got mausoleum knights here. Thank you. Cool. Blood soaked tabard. And. That's simple enough. Headless foot soldiers who endlessly guard the walking mas mausoleum. Indelible blood stains. And. This is a decent way to get. Some of my flask back, I guess. Huh. And just. Thank you, Wolf. Stab. Fun. All right, and can I? Mmm. Mm, okay. Seven. Can I? Well, that kind of worked. Okay. Can I? Seven. Stitcher is good here. Stitcher is doing a good job. And can I? Mmm. Mm. Come on. Thanks. And normal stab will do it. Thank you. And can I? Seven. Die. Right, well, uh, come on. I should probably use a skill there. And stab. How many more are coming? You're over here. Hmm. And can I stab and well, alright. Okay. Hmm. Hit you when we have an opening. Thanks. And die. Thank you. And can I hmm. Can I there we go. So the slight guard pierce helped a little. Mausoleum Circo. Is it more common to drop here? This depicts the Mausoleum Bell, which rings in constant mourning for the soulless demigods, and that... That's not the one with the wings. It's the Mausoleum Knight. Set that has the cool wings on it. Okay. Interesting. But it... There's a lot over here. It, it's a very, it's not a big area, but somehow it feels empty in a way that makes it feel bigger, as weird as that sounds. There we go, and stab. Cool. And when you get up, we'll just charge up that, I guess. And can I, mm-hmm. 
Ross it. Okay. There we go. It. Ah, oh, we finally got the Mausoleum Knight armor. That wing shaped ornament on its back evoked the Death Bird. Self inflicted curse ties the spirits of these loyal knights to the land, willing to be the head of themselves so they may serve their masters in death. And it. Ah, it's a lot lighter. The wings are cool, but. It's so much lighter that it can't be that good in the way of protection, sadly. Oh well. You may as well. Well, that not blessings boon. Okay. Cool and well, we may as well. Cool. No real reason not to. Is that a? That's just an animal. Okay. So let's backstab you. Thanks, and oh, I thought that would make you fall, but it did not. Is that gonna- you gonna fall off the cliff, or? Hmm. Alright, and can we, Oh my goodness. Well, Alright, I- Ooh, okay. Huh. Little tough. Can I- Thanks, and can I- There we go, I- And- There we go, we successfully won that charge. Thank you. And anything else? Well, we got flask pack, but what else is down? Nothing really down here. Anything this way, or let me see. Nothing. There was something up. Oh, just an arterial leaf. Why is it always plant? Injustice ahead. Yeah. Could this be a dastard? I'd say so. Hmm. Over past that mausoleum, we went around the derelict, killed the spirit jellyfish. Other than that, I... All those mausoleum knights should be dead now. Well, they were already dead, but they should be totally laid to rest, so... There we go, and what'd we get? We got... It's a flight pinion. I... What'd be really funny is that if I got a foul foot from a bird here somewhere, and then... Managed to craft one. Well, I don't have. Have exactly. Let me see. Exactly one gold firefly. So if I manage to actually kill a bird, I think I'd already scared them all away. If I could get a flight pinion from a bird, I would be. Well, I. Dang it! Big thing is. These guys respond, I think. They do respond after long enough, it seems. Well, whatever. I okay. Hmm. If I'm here, they're alive. I'm gonna kill them again. It. But it does seem to suggest that, in order to actually preserve memory, there's a limit to how much they sort of remember which enemies are alive and which are dead. Extensive. Oh, yep. We seem to have gotten between his lily. That's nice. Okay. Lightning, lightning. And, yep. Dropped a Trina's lily. This one just dropped Grave Glove Ort. My question is are those birds coming back? At least, right, at least not right now. Mm, I. Might be nice to actually have sword up in case I need to kill. I can find and kill a bird or two. Hopefully get a foul foot to craft with, maybe. Probably not. Hmm. Going around that edge then. Hmm. It's interesting here. Very, very interesting here. Yeah, the... This is about where I got to. This bloody lands, so... Work our way down by Yellow Annex, I think. And that should be somewhat decent. But... A bird would be even better. Hmm. Find a bird, get a foul foot, hopefully. Not there, not there. 
craft a another gold pickup falfa. Then I can kill the Knights Cavalrymen without worrying about wasting the runes they would drop. Hmm. So over this way is that was where some of the mausoleum knights were. Other than that, though. Hmm. Well, we'll see. Oh, come on. How is this, then? Keep on moving, and... Hmm. Okay. Alright, alright. So there were three bears, we killed them all. In theory, I wouldn't imagine there should be that many more bears, if any. But, things can be surprising. Rhyme Crystal Bud? What does it rhyme with? Hmm. I know that around here somewhere is the way gate that takes you to Mogwin normally, which I have no need of because I already went there before the first half of the game and did everything I had to, but... Mm -hmm. I swear I wed that bear away. Put it down there to break that stuff for me, and is that a bird? That looks to be a bird. Let's see if it drops something. Okay, Alabaster Lords pull. And can we get just a flight pinion? Okay. Hmm. I just... They can drop it. It's not as common as some of the other bird types, but they can drop it. So I... Hmm. I just don't want to weave and refresh the area until I absolutely, absolutely have to. That would mean lots of things. Stay in. Okay. And will this... Just a flight pinion. I really should equip some item discovery boosting stuff whenever I find it. Find one of those birds to blast. Bird up, I guess. Hmm. So, anything over here or. Hmm. Main thing is making sure that. So the bears were around here. That is another one. So yeah, let's put on Scarab, Scar Seal, and the Albin Orc Head. This is very, very silly. Once I get one, I won't have to keep trying for some time. There we go. Okay, well, there we go. We got our Falfa. Okay. Which means putting on actual stuff now. Again. Pretty much immediately. Hmm. So we can keep going now. Dragon Crest. And now we can... Yeah, put normal weapons back on. After I actually craft one of these. Okay, cool. Have one. Let's not let it go to waste. Thank you, and die. Heroes Rune 2. Okay, there's the... There's the warp gate. Okay. Let's mark that, because I... Just for the sake of fun, I do want to take it to just, you know, go over and show what I've already seen. Oh, and we got lots of blood slimes. I wonder what this Albinor is doing, because I don't think it's going in there. Just guarding it? Maybe. Oh, but right, I can't... That's what I should have been doing. I should have had Giant Seal equipped because this will do more damage as it is a Giant Slim incantation. Every individual pillar deals not that much. And yeah, that deals a meaningful amount more. It's a 20% boost. It's actually crazy. It, that's a meaningful difference. Huh. The question is just which boss I'm going to kill with that. Okay, cool. Fun. But yeah, having that seal on the offhand to boost damage is crucial. And is 
examine. Oh, interesting. It works, but it doesn't have a... doesn't have any glow to it. It's very sort of derelict, I suppose. That word is on my mind because of this place. Okay. So we can come back eventually, test out that gate, but I don't think you can go back. I'm pretty sure you can't go back the other way, but around where the noble invaded me, and where we got the set, there were two invaders in here. I mean, Kaelid also has two invaders, but that's a full area, while well, arguably Consecrated Snowfield is also its own area, technically. But if it's its own area, then presumably Weeping would also be its own area, which generally I think it's considered part of one grave. Hmm. Come on, come on, we can... I guess we can kill those birds, too. Thank you, and... Slash... My opinion, but yeah, it... If I had remembered to have Giant Seal in my offhand... Well, in the other hand, compared to the one with Golden Order Seal, that would have been significantly easier to kill those rune bears. That's fine. I'll live. It's not huge, but it feels bigger because of how empty it is and how easy it is to get lost. Hmm. I... We don't have that many. Don't have enough fireflies to really get all that many, but... Fly pinions are still nice for... Crafting arrows, so... Over there we have... Frenzy Trolls, so yep, yeah, yellow annex ruins are just right over here. Yellow annex tunnel is underneath there. So we'll map out the area, then do... The dungeons... Is that, since I won't get flash replenishment while in the dungeon, I need to have everything I need for the dungeon when I'm going in. Okay. Also, and is that a... Yeah, it's another rune bear. Awesome. Well, okay, now I know what to do. Which is, unequip that, put on. Full go, and just... Blast that stupid bear. Okay. Flame grant me. That on. Grail's roar. Hello. Then we burn our flame and cannot, cannot, oh, I roll. Burn our flame and good damage. Much better damage now. And okay, thanks. I, well, decently, decently better and cannot, oh my, okay, all right. I, and roll. And can we... Oh, well, I... Oh, please? I need to use fast mode, then. Can't afford to use anything else. Okay. Oh, and oh, there were slimes here, too. Right, thanks. All right, and can I... Now we can charge. Okay, cool. And burn up. Okay, nice. Dodge. Okay. Put this down again. And, wow, it... It's troublesome. Right, okay, and heal. Right, okay. Just get it. Thanks. Alright, well, we still have our boost up. Well, there we go. I hate you so much. Okay. Hefty Beast Blood. Get all that back. But it's... There's no reward for it whatsoever. It's just... If you like killing bears, there are bears for you to kill. And it... We didn't even... It's not even dropping meat. It's just dropping poop. It... Honestly, the definition of insult to injury. But, eventually I can just buy smithing stones, but it, it's first time through. I do feel some level of obligation to get everything, so to speak. Anything I can actually pick up, I will actually pick up. Bullgoat Talisman is interesting. Is there an item on here, or... No, this is just an actual dude. That's sad. I kind of feel bad about that one. Kinda. 
yellow ember. Oh, because this is right. This weird frenzy village, which is somehow here. It it's not even yellow, really. Eye of reddish orange, scarlet crimson. Hmm. So eventually, Dragonkin soldiers, ghostly Dragonkin soldiers, start spawning. You can fight a number of them. No annex ruins. Let's put on some spells. Might as well. Lots of dudes in here. We will do that. Blood Blame Blade and we're hacking at the feet. Oh, rats. Okay, cool. Thanks. Nice. And that's Stone Sword Key, which means very little for us now, frankly. Hello, multiple frenzy trolls. That's interesting. Okay. Let's actually just sneak up and hit their legs. Thanks. And nice, there we go. So we can get the critical on the head. Thank you. And oh, we got blood loss too. That was nice. I cannot. One. One. Two. Oh, well, I, all right. Oh, and you hit the other. You hit your friend. It's a little sad, don't you think? So can I... Nice. And dodge. Mm -hmm. Charge. And can I... Charge, charge. Okay, nice. We intercepted your jump attack. It's funny. Let's go over and get a quick critical on you. One. And two. Okay. Oh, the blood flame expired in the middle of the attack. There we go. Cool. Thanks. You're all gone in that... Oh, it's just an eye of yellow, but it... We don't really do much with frenzy-related materials, do we? No, we don't. Yellow Annex Ruins. Hmm. It's literally just a yellow annex. It's not even a particularly important or special place. It, other than, I suppose, just all the trolls being around. <laughs> so let's go... Take down another frenzy troll. It how many are there here? That's the real question. Hello. And I did not mean to do that attack. I meant to do this attack. Okay, well I That's not gonna work, is it? It's not gonna work. Okay. Thank you. You can just spam charge heavies on you then. Hmm. Well, another Frenzy Troll? It... Are there just that many? We've seen three. Is the fourth going to be the last one, or... How is this going to work? Okay. Okay, okay, and... Charge up, and... Oh my goodness, okay. Can I charge again, and... There we go, cool. Go over, and crit, crit. And, well... That's decent, but the angle on that is... A little unwieldy. Okay, cool, I... Charge and thank you. I okay, kill. There we are, cool. Thanks. And take that. And another eye of yellow. Okay. Oh. Big thing is that when I actually fight the Knights Cavalrymen, I'm gonna need a lot of stuff. Big thing is and oh we got more slimes. I'm gonna want a piercing weapon to fight them after they fall. So, Godskin Stitcher as well as... Oh my goodness. I, what? Why are you so resilient? What is up with these rats? Okay. Well, this will actually guarantee a one-tap on the smaller ones. And the bigger ones are just doing their own thing. Golden Rune and a Yellow Amber. It... Something worse than a golden moon. <laughs> More useless to me. Well, to be fair, the yellow embers could be turned into frenzy flame stones if I really felt like it, but it I've not accepted the frenzy flame. Once I do, it'll be a short time until I just unaccept it, so to speak. Oh, there I okay, I Oh wow, that hit for big damage. Alright. So where is the rest. Nothing in there, it seems. 
all these funny eyeballs. And, oh, well, is that another Frenzy Troll? Oh, I thought that was a slime. It was a Frenzy Troll. It's always Frenzy Trolls. Okay. Do that. Do this. And let's see if I can sneak up on him. Mm -mm. Well, right, we should Blood Flame too. Going over that way now, so let's just sneak around you, charge up. Oh, well, okay. Fun. I, all right. One and oh my goodness. You've got to be kidding. Thanks. Die. Can I charge? And, okay. Interesting. Okay. All right. And can I charge again? And, there we go. He hit. Now we can go for our critical. One. Ah, oh, Bordelos. Okay, cool. So now we just charge up and kill with up. Oh my goodness. Okay. Die. Die. There we go. That wasn't too bad, I guess. Golden Rune 13. Hmm. So eventually, you'll end external tunnel somewhere around here. Where is... Clearly something is tracking me. Is it a rat or... Is it that guy? Might be that guy. Okay, die. Cool. Rhyme Dorilla. Hmm. So the tunnel is over that way. So it's... Well, if it's still Annex Ruins... If it's a Ruins, there has to be an Illusory Floor or something like it somewhere. Presumably there might be a way inside this little area? Aha! Uh -huh, that is... what I was looking for. Okay. Come on. I need... Three more levels, four more levels before I can use Blessing of the Urge Restraint. No enemy ahead, and... Yep, there we go. Cool. This is... Ah! An Endurable Frenzy! That's fun. Want burst of yellow flame of frenzy from eyes, maddening three fingers, Continue channeling, can be used while in motion, maddening pain and unstoppable tears of those afflicted, the flame of frenzy brought into being. It's a decent one, actually. But... But... We have our own. That's right, isn't this illusory or... So how am I going to get out? Zoom away just jumping out through there. Yeah, okay, cool. And it... Did they respawn or... How oh, did... Wait. I could have sworn I killed these guys already. Maybe, maybe not. Okay, I probably did not get these guys. Okay. It's just various eyes of yellow. Okay. Hmm. Glass shard, yellow amber. Eye of yellow. It. If only these were good for more, but. Well, it can use those for those boluses, but it. Frenzy is mainly a PvP thing. Because you can't use it against non tarnished enemies in the first place. So, so that, down there, did I go up here? I think I went up here. Now that's where that gravestone was, but the question is, is this anything? It's not anything. Okay. Hmm. I can... It's weird that it seems as if there should be a way down, but presumably it... The lore explanation would presumably be that the map is old and there's been collapse of the terrain in the meantime since the map was made. Especially given that, well, the halo tree might not look as rotten on the map as it actually is in practice. Hmm. Okay. Yeah. First thing we want to take to 38, then, is going to be, well, the 33, so that it will be 38 with a rune archive, it's going to be Faith, so that I can use Blessing of the Urgery instead of any other lesser health regeneration buffs, and is this a merchant? Or, what is this? It might have been a merchant at some point. Sad. And then we have way into Yellow Annex Tunnel. No fat coin purse ahead. 
No annex tunnel. So there should be... Oh, and it's very, very snowy, because this is the only mining tunnel with... Ah, right. The only icy mining tunnel we've seen. Well, first off, we need to activate the grenades so we can come back here whenever we want, and then we... Okay. Hit. It's gonna be interesting, that's for sure. But... I need to actually take a bathroom break. Yeah. Hmm. The snowfield and the bosses... Mm -mm. I'll figure it out. I'll be right back. Okay. Uh -huh. Continue along here. Something new with the tunnel. Yeah, we have a good amount of stuff. Shouldn't be a huge problem. 
question is, of course, just how well can I defeat everything around the carriage before the Knights Cavalrymen show up? Because it's decently deep into night right now. But it's not everything. Over here is down by the tunnel. Hmm. We keep on moving and see what else is over here. This just goes back to it's where the snow really starts. Hmm. It's by the hidden path of the halo tree. So I think stone seven and 21 up to a how many oh my goodness more chanting winged dames that is not something I was expecting hello and can I hmm could I shoot them that's the real question if I could shoot them that would make things real easy oh alright thanks Take that and go over to a spell where I can slash you. Something sounded weird about that. Well, whatever. Can I? Okay. Thanks. Oh, wow. Okay. That, we can get rid of the lightning orbs if we really feel like it. Not huge trouble. And, oh. Okay. Thanks, I... Thank you! Two, three, four, five, six. Okay. You. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. Be fun if they drop something. It's definitely too much to hope for, and... Where is she? Down here, or... Maybe... Think... Maybe... Huh? Huh. You know, there's... Why are there ancestral followers here? Oh, no, that's what was making the noise. Okay, oh my goodness. Alright. Hmm. Can I... Slash and... One, two. Thank you. Come on, come on. Oh my goodness. Okay. Please, please. I just... Uh... Can I slash and huh. Kinda works. Building horn. Let's kind of vertical it and I did not actually hit anything. Hmm. Alright, and can we kill one of those before? Thank you. I oh, okay. Alright, well. Normally the only ones that explode drop smithing stones. Stalwart Horn Charm plus one. Oh, nice. Greatly, greatly raises robustness. And wears over and over again. Becomes an ancestral spirit. Hmm. I suck it. I've been in burst. Hmm. It's nice. It's interesting that that one is not described as a necklace. Or anything like that. Huh. But you've got the lightning balls, which normally are only really in... Sifra and similar areas. It. Consecrated Snowfield is kind of a weird sort of slapdash final area. That. or a sort of greatest hits run sort of thing along with Melania. And given that Melania. You know, some people believe Melania have been sort of a recycling of secular ideas that sort of at some point was intended to be a Tomoe fight. It's interesting to think about that. So I... Thanks. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay. And... Alright. Come on. Here we go. And just... Two, three, four, five, six. And it cannot... reposition or anything like that. After it starts shooting, so it seems. That's good. For me. 
I hear some trolls. It's definitely the carriage. Which means we should hang back a bit until it turns daytime so I can take down everything around it without the Knight's Cavalry interfering and then fight the two of them solo, more or less. Well, have it be a two-on-one instead of a seven-on-one. Golden Rune 13. Then over here would be another one of you. Okay. Come on. Oh, please. When are you going to stop? When are you going to stop? And just, well, we missed. We missed. And it's, again, it's not like we needed that, but it's the principle of the thing. Thank you. I... Alright, thanks. I... Oh, ja, 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 ja. Oh, my... Okay. Oh. Let's activate the rest of the ball lightning. Thank you. One, two, three, four, five, six. And... One, two, three, four, five, six. It is interesting that the only bluish lightning we ever get access to is the lightning of frozen lightning spear and that's it they're going over there the question is how far they head but it's really just those two guarding it oh hello i okay all right thanks interesting i need golden vow <coughs> oh my goodness <coughs> Ooh, okay, fine, not really. Okay. Hmm, I... Alright, and can I... Ooh, wow, okay. Hmm. question is just... How much is that going to... Heal me? How many flasks will I get back if I actually kill that thing? When... That Dragonkin soldier decides to actually appear again. That was... Less than pleasant when that happened. Thank you. Gotta wait until daytime. Mm -hmm, but apparently they respawn infinitely, which is not fun to hear. Thanks. Cool. All right. Hmm. I need to have a good amount of blasts for fighting any of those guys. So, lightning balls respawn then, and. We got more lightning balls over there. These are tiny lightning balls. That's very strange. Thanks, I... Alright. Oh, and they have small lightning, too. That's actually kind of cute. Hmm. But it's... Still night. But if that carriage is still going... Can they stop at... Top of the... Area there, but it's literally just these Knights Cavalrymen. I... Okay. Shouldn't be too bad, actually. Main thing is... Let's pick off the guys over here first. Oh, baby. Oh, baby. Okay. Uh, I just gotta time that dash right. One... Two and oh well, okay. Uh, got this and uh, I. The big thing is they're pretty weak to lightning, so it'd probably be my best bet to try to use golden vow and then just oh my what what okay okay that was bad. How far are they going to pursue me? It's a good thing this is all clear, but... Come on. Come on, then. I... Okay. Just Golden Vow and then... Lightning from here. Lightning from horseback. And it... Well, we do good damage. Hmm. I... think this is gonna be a pretty decent idea, then. Just... And their AI is weirdly inactive now. 
as they go back to the carriage. It, I guess we can just keep zapping you while you do nothing. Okay. I mean, I'll take it. Yeah. And using terrain is also useful here, but it's totally avoiding the actual horse aspect of the fight. And thank you, and well, come on. I need to, oh, oh my goodness. Okay. Fun. Hmm. How to use terrain to my advantage. Got one of you on your own, so now we can settle the way in. Toss one more, and oh, that, the horse took it. Protecting your master. Well, that's one of them down. And, okay. Now we just need to get the other witches over there. Okay. Huh. Alright. And we can... Well, how'd that hit Torrent, but not me? That's fine. I... Let's just fly normally, then. We can, we can make this happen. Gwen, grant me, and probably actually, Blood Flame Blade. And sure, let's go for a Grail. Why not? We have very little to lose here. I, oh, well, all right. That's right. Okay. Well, I... Oh, my... What? Okay. Never mind. Maybe I do have some to lose. Okay, I... Can I... Thanks. I... Well... That doesn't hit. Mm, I... Can we... Move in for a... Slash on the horse. I... Okay. Mm -mm. Tough. Tough crowd. I... Okay. And can I... Thanks. I... Oh, okay. Can I... Kill the horse or... Horse is dead. We'll be in good position. And... Okay. Oh, please. How's the bullet when not actually killing? Whatever. I... Die, horse and... What? What? Okay. Oh, come on. Come on. Can I... Kill... There we go. Horse is dead. Which means we can... Get the critical on you, which... Oh, alright. That was surprisingly tough. And there we go. Cool. And that's the end of the Knight's Cavalry. I should just use lightning. Right, Ancient Dragon Smithing Stone, and they're set. Cool. Hmm. Dragon Smithing Stone, Thinly Painted with Dried Blood, Pitch Black Greaves, Nats Cavalry, Red Funeral Steeds, Flowing Black Hair. Nats Cavalry, who now wander the dim roads of night, were once led by the fell omen and were delivers of death for great warriors, knights, and champions. Let's go over it and get whatever's in there. We kind of ran out of flasks. Kinda. Alright, we could kill you. That's no health. No health from that, though. Huh. Well, alright, we can stop this soon, but it seems to be leading where that duelist is, maybe. Huh. Well, we have... Wait, who is shooting at me? I... Oh, did they just... Yeah, eventually, it seems, enemies just respawn. If you leave them alone long enough. It's a time aspect of respawning, too, which makes sense, because... You know, they need to say which enemies are dead. But... Still kind of funny. Okay. Oh, we got more of these trolls. That's right. Okay, cool. Let's... Take you down. And... Ooh, okay. Slash, and... Can we... Oh, my goodness. Can I... Slash again? Thank you. We knocked it down, which means... You can. One, two, and can I? One more cut. One more. There we go. Cool. Okay. Let's just critical the other one. There we go. Okay. And we're down, which means we can. One, two, and can I charge that hit? And can I? One. There we go. Cool. All right. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, so. Let's see what's inside and continue my travels. I think this leads up to. Oh my. Of course the Elven Orc archers are shooting at me again. And we're getting shot even while opening this. Flowing curved sword. That's fun. And that. 
Legends speak of a master with a sword garbed in blue and his curved blade that was pattern after flowing water. Strong attack and wishes a series of strikes akin to a dance, offering a glimpse into the legend. And that was the blue dancer who was Melania's master. Hmm. Well, alright. We can keep moving. Just want to unlock the other cave before I go forward. Hmm, don't want to reset things if I can help it until I absolutely have to. And we are in a pretty good position right now, actually. So it seems. But if I had had Gravelstone Seal, that that light, those lightning spears would have dealt even more damage. It would have been pretty nice, but lightning spear on that's cavalry is the way to go about it, especially since it does like a bypass. Well, the horse more or less, and well, you wow, you die easily. Okay, there we go. Okay, it that was. A lot easier than I expected. I'll take it. Something trudging around it. Oh well, all right. Thanks. I, okay. Can I? Thanks. And one, two. Eventually, they stop responding after you kill twenty of the spirits, if I recall correctly. But there's just really no reason to do it in the first place. Don't get anything for it. And it. You know, of all the things to have here, it's Dragonkin soldiers, for some reason. Okay, cool. Well, we can get some of that back. Okay. Well, I should have chugged that beforehand if I had such intentions, but you get nothing for killing them. We already killed one. I don't need to kill anymore. I have some pride and dignity. Hmm. Up around here, and then it's... Just the rise and some catacombs, a tree. It's a good thing that those Trankin soldier spirits at least don't take a lot to kill. It here something. It's a noise of something getting summoned or teleported, but. Hmm. More guys I killed a long time ago. Okay. Down to that putrid avatar was pretty funny, actually. I, huh. Hmm. Huh. Grace is nearby, one that I've seen before, and. Yeah, okay. Inner consecrated snowfield. Yellow Annex Tunnel, Apostate Derelict, Ordino Liturgical Town. There aren't a lot of graces in here. Which. Definitely contributes to the whole endgame area kind of thing. Albinoric Rise will give me a good talisman. Hmm. Just... How do I want to go about this? This is where the followers were. We got that, so... Going back to the catacombs and... More or less be done with it then. Alright. It's... Been a location. It, it is a place. Hmm. <clears throat> but even still... Huh. Well, the Trangan soldiers are just around here. It seems to be their entire purview. And yep, now the snows of night are coming, but actually it... I guess it actually does make sense because of how Albedo works in a... Oh my, what, what, okay. Thanks. No thanks. I, okay. Not good. Not good. Okay. We need to run far away and just get some buffs up. Thank you. I, oh, well, I... Alright. Thanks. Okay. Heal. Golden Vow. When grant me. Sean Seal back on along with Bullgoat. And then... Rush in for the Grail's pop, and should be good. We can use this, and cool, can we? Thank you, thank you, and put this there, and can I? Okay, right, and can we burn, burn? 
Burn of Flame. And can I dodge? Okay, thanks. I, all right. Thank you. I dodge it. Can I burn, burn it. Okay, and roast you. Roast you again. And so good. So satisfying. And that's a larval tier. Okay. Fun. It, it's so good. Especially for these situations. The question is just how it would work against Melania. Melania is not big. She's not small, but she's not big. But it would, in theory, especially if I managed to get a full charge, I could knock her off and continue to... Okay, thanks. Alright, and one, two... I hate these pages. And, well, we got a flask back. I don't even know if Star would help you. It, yeah, it actually makes things harder to see. That is actually rather amusing. Yeah, because with light, it just reflects off the snow, making it harder to see. It, it's very funny that it does that. If that had killed me, I would have been rather displeased. But it. I'm gonna have to wait for some of this to subside then. Yeah, it. That is rather interesting, because even in, in Forbidden Lands, it wasn't all that snowy. Before I think. Huh? Huh? Okay. I was not expecting that. It. Maybe I don't have enough airflow because I made it quieter. It It's not that hot. It's warm at the back of the computer, but it's not hot. It just for a bit, let's raise the fan speed a little. Come on. We a little bit louder, but So a little bit of rise, then I actually go into Hail of Tree. Should be fine. Should be watching. But something seems to be weird about game tracking. And now it works, now it works. So I just have to refresh it a little. Okay. Oh. Let's continue. Okay. Actually kind of surprised that I'd never gotten a random rune art drop from a random rat before I started actively farming. Would have thought would have gotten a little bit more, maybe. I wonder how many levels I'd get if I just tossed everything in. Oh, so I don't think it saved the fact that I killed that page. Okay, cool. Fun. Well, it... I don't even know what happened there then. Whatever. Let's find our way to the Elvenork Rise and should equip some crystal darts right now. That I can... How many do I have? Oh, I've got 37. That is more than enough for my purposes. As my purpose is making a couple of the imps there fight each other to open the way to the rise and get a talisman. Oh. <coughs> okay. <coughs> Alright. Oh, and we get something here. That's... Six fire bosses for suppose fire bots, but I. Oh, that's just an animal. Okay. Thin beast bones. Yeah, the final rise should be around here. We'll just see how this is. And. 
much more is over here. Kill those guys, and yet it's rather hard to see. But it... The one thing that makes this place tolerable is having the map. Yep, it's still that. Okay. Fun. Am I... Take this off. Yep, it's medium load again, so... Star Scrooge Heirloom should be okay, and, well, alright. Hmm. You know, we may as well try that then and see if we can slam it. Oh, goodness. A normal a Colt would probably be better. I think that's a pretty safe bet. Whatever. And slam and slam. Okay, thanks. Cool. And another. There we go. Okay. Uh, all right. Mm -hmm. One more. One more. Okay. Slam. Slam. Then, out of the way of the mist, we can slam again. And, oh, well, all right. We can... Oh, my goodness. Okay. One more, and there we go. Okay, cool. And... An okay, now. Quintstone Crossland's cookbook, and that's... Oh, Academy Magic Pot is there. Oh, interesting. Huh. Here's the question of what Albinoric Ryan's relationship to the Academy might have been, then. If any. Slam and... Mm. Can I slam again and slam that down? Okay, cool. And another hit. There we go. Cool. Now we just try that again. On another school of graven mages. Thank you, and... Oh my goodness. I, oh, what? What? Okay. I... It'd be funny if that killed me. But it would give me the opportunity to switch out Ashes of War. So I guess it wouldn't be all bad. It's mostly bad. Hmm. So up there, there were going to be a few more of those guys. So, imps nearby. Make imps fly. Oh, but that... I wonder if I could actually use crystal darts on a school of graven mages. Never tried that. But there are a, multiple in here, which would be an opportunity. I have to make imps fight. Okay. Let's just wait for the imps. Where are the other imps? Albinoric rise. Hello, hello. Oh, and they're spiritual, so that we spawn constantly until. Eh, okay, cool. Get over here. We will make you fight. Cool. Just over this way. I. Oh, all right. Fun. Not really. I, okay. There we. There we go. And. Will this work for... Oh, no, I... What? Okay, all right. I, interesting. Gonna take multiple to make you go haywire then. Okay, and... Will this... Oh, my goodness. Okay, cool. And... What? Well, what? What? Okay. Heal. And... There we... Is that it? Is that it? Or... Can I... Mm -hmm. Okay. This is... Kind of annoying. I... Can I... Oh, and there we go. Now it's fighting on my side, I think. Or is it? Or... Let's see. I, oh, come on. Yep, and... Seal the rise should open, I think. Let's see. And... One imp kills another. It... Can it... There we go. We had to have one kill the other, I think. And I... Okay, well, okay. Come on, come on. I... Okay. Can I just get one... Hit or can I slam? There we go. Don't think they should come back now. All right, so we made the imps fight and go in and climb up top. Snow's inside here too. That should mean a very nice talisman. But it's just, I think there's a big school of graven mages at the top too. And the talisman is really just sort of its body, but. Okay. Okay. Let's just get my way back here. From here. See everything else there is in the... Well, okay. So we didn't take damage. If that had killed me, then that, that would have been really, really stupid. 
That would have been downright infuriating. Okay. So, let's go over and get our prize. Whatever there is. That cliff, okay. Jump onto it from the rise, and there we go, by this big school. We got the Graven Mass Talisman. Picking the first school of Graven Mages, Nightmare would continue to haunt the Academy, raises potency of sorceries. Greatly raises its proven tradition, when and sorcery clue to its teachings. Collecting sorcerers fashion in the seats of star, but another path of scientific inquiry, so this would be the very first. The fact that it's Albanoric Rise then is interesting because it suggests maybe a connection between the schools of Graven Mages and the Albanorics somehow. I can I Yeah, okay, cool. Which means I can just couple uh Oh, do those ones not respawn? If I recall correctly, there were a couple of schools of Raven Mages here, and there was a chest with a rune arc. Is it always something incredible? Something decent? Decently annoying to get to the point that you'd rather get it this way than farming it through other means, I would say. And can we drop down somewhere, or... I... This might kind of force the issue. Can I... No, we survived. Okay, cool. But it's... You don't want to push your luck with this. You really do not want to push your luck. Hmm. So then... Much more in... Wait, so... Okay, I just forgot to take Sacred Boy off. That was the thing. As I was wondering whether I'd actually use the runes I'd gotten from Deathrite Bird or not. Hmm. Catacombs should be up over that way, and then we can loop around the tree, go back to Hidden Path, and do the dungeons, and then just go to the actual Halo Tree. Yeah. Alright then. Doing okay for ourselves. Lovely stuff. Hmm. Okay. How then do we do this? Hmm. And I do right and that leads to those catacombs, but Oh, but we can't interact with that. Huh. I suppose it thinks we've already found them, or is it leading to Cave of the Forward instead, or what? Hmm. I over here maybe or no, it's over this general direction. But I don't have that old ghost man anymore to guide me. Okay, well, alright. Fun, I guess. Cling to the wall should help me find something, ideally. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. I... Oh, I got a normal wolf. And I... Oh, well, here's something else here, too. I might. That's worrisome. Okay, now we gotta equip Pull Goat again, and we should use Golden Vow anyway. I, okay, cool. Alright, thanks. And we can kill, kill. Just to make sure nothing gets in my way, and... Okay, thanks. Alright, okay. Come on, come on. And that was not all of them, clearly. Let's find the rest of them. Something is nearby. I Okay, but where? I don't have a good way to see. Something is... Oh, and it's you! Okay, I hate you. I hate you so much. I... Okay, and can I... Of course it's a rad wolf of the champion. It has to be. It always is. I... Wait, what? Oh, and of course you have the sword. I hate you. I generally hate you. I... Okay, and da, uh, da, what, what, okay. Come on. Okay, I, what, no, 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 I, of course it's out, and I, dodge, dodge, and I need to, I need to run. I need to run away. Okay, and yeah, that forced the issue. That really, really forced the issue. Okay. Uh, so when is it going to just leave me alone? Thank you, thank you. I, and of course that. Hefty beast bone, and really more wolves. 
If all else fails, I could go back to Hidden Path. And that would give me a side of grace. Okay, yeah, I think... Go over here for one. <laughs> but I... Do I want to level right now? I... Have almost enough to actually take Giant Crusher to 24. And then I could take it straight to 25, too. That and that. I do want to use that with Soth Staff, then. Eventually. Let's level up a bit. See how this is going to work. So, mine, sure. Strength, Arcane, Faith. Message appraised. Okay. We're close to another level. Close. Hmm. So we have that, but right, we need to remember to put a Colt on. Colt Lion's Claw. We should put a lot of these away for one. Lion's Claw with a Colt. And there we go, cool. Good scaling on that. How much damage will this do now in comparison to what it did before? Now it's 792. That's pretty ridiculous. I want to do a quick damage test in one of those schools of graven mages then. See how powerful that's going to be. Got more dudes. Okay. Mm hmm. We're around here. This quadrant. Around that tree, then. I could start from Hidden Path, actually. That would work decently. Oh, hello. Thanks. And it will use this strike, but we can just keep hitting it, and you will get stagger locked by the hits. Fun. How much more damage will the charge attack deal with this one, then? And do those ones not respawn? Oh, interesting. I guess these are non-respawning schools of well, some of them. Maybe. Hello. And that's actually about the same. Huh. Big thing is Lion Squaw should be much better. Now that three Lion Squaws would kill very easily. That's not even in question. And thank you. And we'll start from hidden path to the halo tree then. Thank you. I oh my okay. Fun. Oh and right we're heavy load now. Two and three. Okay. Hmm. We just need one more. One more of those, which hopefully Yolanix Tunnel should give me a good amount, but we'll see. Hmm. Inner Consecrated Snowfield. And eventually, once I kill God Skins, I'll be able to get infinite by just buying them, but we should put away a number of these. Well, after, show off some of these fun weapon arts. That's basically just what the fire prelates do. Hmm. Anything else of interest in particular note? Curved sword, I suppose. We could try this. There we are. Cool. That doesn't have a special... You know, just the storm, and it's not as big as... Not sure it's as big as this spell. One curved sword is. Well, that's pretty. I like that. It's a little bit like painting guardian sword, actually. Uh, very clearly, it's sort of the painting guardian sword equivalent in this one. Let's put most of these away. Most of these weapons need to need to sit. So I can switch out between things more easily. OK. 
Okay. Let him go. These can go. Wish I could really make use of Morgoth Sword, but that's life. Okay. So then. Let's see this tree. And then by. Red Wolf, that's gonna suck too, but I could actually, in that case, put on Barrier Gold. Yeah, sure. Also, we do have Black Flames Protection, which we meet that rack just normally. Barrier Gold. Protection of the Urge Tree is okay. Hmm. But this should be, now that we can have Blood and Swing again. See everything around here. Take out the dungeons and then take on the Haywood Tree. It... It's an interesting area. Oh, and it starts over here. Oh, wow. That far. Okay. It... We got that, so... Got the sword inside and killed the knight's cavalrymen in there, so we can just avoid this entourage, more or less. And can I... Well, you're gonna stay away, so... Can I... Mm-hmm. Thanks. Alright, that guy. And avoid the entourage except for the trolls, presumably. And that is decent. Thank you, and... Jump back or not. Okay, die, die, die. Okay. Cool. The trolls will stay on their merry way, and we can take a few of these guys down for fun, but this procession is interesting. It's kind of funny how much of the commoner's damage is scaled. That could kill me pretty quickly if I don't know what I'm doing. But of course, the easiest way is just to use some basic dummy projectile to get rid of them. That was way too early. Thank you. Hmm. I will simply go up over this way. Around that ledge. Avoid that ledge. And those are just normal... Normal flask scarabs. So... And it's just... Oh, okay. And... Killed my horse. Okay. Oh, all right. Thanks. I dodge. Du Thank you. And for a bloodhound's thing slash. There we go. Cool. And we need one charge. And wow, that's a lot of you. Okay. Cool. Okay. One. One. Two. Well, all right. Huh. I could try to just see what else is here, but I. Do not get the impression that there's much of anything here. This is just an area for chumps. This pocket or... Oh, but what's this? I... Oh, just crimson. Okay, cool. Someone else is using Bloodhound's Fang here. The nice thing about Bloodhound's Fang on the horseback is that you can dismount and get a jump attack from there. It's always fun, but I... Thank you, Dragonkin Soldier. We will stay away from this massive amount of nothing. It just kind of surprises me how much nothing there is here. I, oh, okay, well, all right, I, okay, and... Uh, it's... Black Flames Protection or Golden Valve would be pretty nice to have here, I suppose. Well, whatever. I... Really, it's just... What is going on with this? It's more amusing than anything else at this point. And we can just stray for that. It's just like in a Toho game. Well, alright. That was... something, I guess. Huh. Really, just... There's no reward, they respawn infinitely. There's no reason to kill them, but I- okay, thanks. Why are the dogs stronger? Well, I guess that's kind of true of a lot of humans, too. And run away with your rune. Thanks. That's golden rune 13. Okay. Hmm. 
What if that sound has anything to do with the snow? Yeah, probably not. But, go past this tree, and then it's only just this little diagonal here. I just... It's funky. Hmm. Oh, and... Awesome! Okay. Uh -huh. Alright, well... Make them all disappear. Alright. Kill that rune bear. So there are just plenty of rune bears in here for some reason. Or a wolf. Is that... Champion one, or a... I, oh, awesome, and that's... You! Okay, I, oh my goodness. Alright, thanks. I, okay. Heal. Just dodge, and... One, two... Okay, I... Wait, what? Okay, alright. Can I... Slash it? Okay, of course you... The fact that that belt protects... The Dragonkin soldiers is... Perhaps the most annoying thing about fighting them. That it can be really easy for them to just no-sell through attacks. Oh, hi! I bet that's what's going on with that. I, okay, can I... One, two, and... Oh, my... What? Huh? Really? Okay, well, I... That was something. Can I get you in? Yeah, okay, well, it... I mean, we'll take it. Take that. Two, three, and... Four, I, okay. Well, I'm hearing back... Sends them back much farther than I would have expected. Huh. Well, alright. Big thing is just making sure that that red wolf of the champion does not cause me too many problems. Also, we can take the crystal darts off now. Okay. Hmm. It's around here, then around this way. To wherever those stupid catacombs are. Hmm. I just... Of all the areas in the game, this is one of them. It... This is definitely one of the bigger cases for Elden Ring being Dark Souls 2 too. They even have frozen outskirts. Right, that's the edge, but... Oh, and okay, right, you're here. Okay, fine. I... Oh, and you can breathe... Sort of a rotten perfume? Okay, interesting. Uh, okay, and go under there. Okay, and... So that squats and lets us actually avoid a lot of their attacks. Oh. Okay. And then, anything for you? Rotten Battle Hammer and Duelist Home. It drew the Colosseum. Immovable Snakes in through by Scarlet Rot. Now Festering, Crush Armor, it's Wears Alike, Records of War. And that... Those are guaranteed drops from the two Rotten Duelists in here at one time each, I think. I'm not even sure if the Duelists themselves respawn. Golden Rune 11. Golden Rune 1. Hello. Die. Die. And we can just toss lightning at you to avoid that torch. I don't really care about conserving FP with that anymore. Frankly, I never should have in the first place. It's not that serious. Okay. Then, uh, 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 uh. Golden Rune 9. Then I... Oh, please. How do I... Oh, a normal bear. Hi. Oh, a normal bear. It'd be funny if a normal bear turned into a rune bear. I'm actually surprised that they didn't do that at all in the game. And sometimes you have bears encountering the same place as rune bears. Oh, well, here's a normal bear encountering the same place as a rune bear. Awesome. Okay. It hidden path should be over here. So I... Oh, here's a grace. Is that new or not? I... Well, okay. We need to unequip that and put on giant seal. I... Oh my goodness. I... Okay. Come on, you. I need you, actually. Deeply seriously. And right, right, I dodge! And we, oh my goodness, okay. Heal, heal. I dodge. Can I, thanks. Blessing's boon. And golden vow, golden vow. And right. Grails, grails. And 
Thanks. Thank you, and Virgo Flame I Oh, come on. Come on, you. And dodge and burn, burn, burn you, and good damage. Don't have flame grant me, but it's okay. And, ah, that, it's really annoying to dodge. I'm definitely timing it way too early. I, okay, and, well, okay. And can I burn again? Thanks. I, okay. Just, hmm, heal, heal. I dodge it, cut, burn again, burn again, and that did not hit meaningfully in any way. Okay, cool. Thanks. Uh, dodge, dodge, another burn of flame, and that, there we go, finally. Okay. I, well, I didn't know there was a grace here. You can know how close it is to that rune bear. Maybe that's okay. Alright, and that's... Consecrated Snowfield, Inner Consecrated Snowfield, and then Ordina. That's just sort of the most direct path to the Halo Tree. Now the map was around more here. Okay. Yeah, but you're supposed to follow, follow the lights. I simply did not do that. I'm just too cool. Okay. Hmm. Various incantation boosting talismans could also work here, but for Loretta, I think I'll just shoot her. I mean, I'll equip those and just shoot her without any regard to her defense, especially since I can stack multiple of those, but my true's favor is cool, but. Hmm. Pull down Sphang. That, that all back on. Okay. Let's see what we can. Just burn to death. Alright, alright. <laughs> okay. Come on, come on. Oh. Yep, and there's that bear. In the middle, where we just had. This little graveyard, I think. Yeah, so. Loop around here, loop around here. Red wolf to kill. Okay. That's simple enough. Still want to rest again until I'm safe for sure. Oh, well, somebody died. Alright. Cool. I think the horse helps with that. Get a little bit of height advantage. Angle it down. Hmm. Hello, hello. Alright. Cool. Aristocrat boots. I hear scarab of some sort somewhere, and that's snails? Huh? Okay. That was unexpected. It was really unexpected. What is this? You are. Let me see. Thanks, and give me. Oh, just Summerstone 8. That, that's okay. Hmm. -mm. What else? Where? We got more aristocrats digging. This. Up and around to the catacombs and then. The remaining dungeons and then Halo Tree. Should be decent. What is. Another snail? It. Why are there. Why are there crystal snails here? It just. Why? It's. They're not even spirit ones. Just random snails that are here for some reason. I, oh, but I could, in theory, right? How much? About the same, and also from range, but at a cost of FP. Hmm. I just. Alright. Okay then. And up on this ridge. Anything, or. I get the impression there should be something here. Cool, cool. And we can heal up Torrent a little, and this is okay, just a gold room. Okay, cool, and so can, it's not just a sort of like dragon breath effect, they can spit it too. Oh, I do find it interesting that Horfrost Stomp is closest thing to white dragon breath in Elden Ring. There isn't a direct counterpart in terms of spells. 
Nothing that spreads. It's along the ground. Or crystals along the ground, because... Yeah, because Seath... I wonder if... If they had made Seath today... I wonder if they would have given him... Frostbite instead of Curses. His status inflicted by White Dragon Breath. It... Some people think that the... Bleed effect on Life Hunt Sign is basically... Meant to approximate Frost. Which, Priscilla does make use of ice. It's nothing that deals damage with the ice, so... Pretty sure. Hmm. Let's keep on looking and... Just drops down there, which would be instant death. And not very fun, as a result. Hmm. Well, uh, what's a... Round Rowan up Trina's Lily. Okay. Uh -uh. That's Hidden Path, and should be an aristocrat with some item over here. Hanging off that cliff. This is Golden Rune 13. Okay, cool. I guess. But the catacombs are somewhere over here. Around that tree, there's a Red Wolf of the Champion that I want to kill. Other than that, we should be pretty good. Which is going to mean that other than Frenzied Flame Prescription, I'll have done everything in the overworld. Because once I beat Halo Tree, it's... I gotta go down to Frenzied Flame Prescription to make sure that Melina does not have to die. Even though she'd hate me for it. Oh, Nomadic Warriors Cookbook 23. Frozen Raisin, Clarifying Cured Meat, Clarifying White Cured Meat. That, which do I not have right now? Look at key items, key items. That, hmm. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 4, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, no, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 1, 2, 3, 2, 3, 4, 1, 2, 3, and that it might be in the tunnel, but I think it actually might be in Frenzy Flame Prescription. There are also other Frenzied cookbooks from... It's kind of crazy that there was only one Titan Cell Sword, even though... Mountaintops are supposed to be their quote-unquote home settlement. Well, they're back. Okay. All right. And so they do count as enemies. Huh. It did prevent me from opening the map. Well, all right. And just... And what is... I... Okay. Oh, but that... It's probably going to Cave of the Forlorn. This is for the catacombs, but that tree was probably... To, Cave of the Forlorn, because that's for caves, right? Roses is for catacombs, and the tree is for just regular quote-unquote cave-type dungeons. Let's... Okay. Interesting. Seems a little... Oh, it's the procession! As it goes... No, this is a different one, right? This is... This is a different one. Because there are two wagons, right. Forgot about that. Okay, cool. I, oh my goodness. Okay. One, two, and dodge. Oh, there is a cotton cell sword. One, two. Alright. So actually, let's put on Stitcher and... Can I... Thank you. Alright, and... Thank you. Will this kill? It won't kill. But, should be able to... Charge up a couple of hits and make that work pretty simply now. There were two Kaiden Cell Swords in the entirety of this area then. Alright. Thank you. That didn't hit. Come on. And so the carriage over there. Hit the item once we've stopped it. So let's take the fang back out. Buff up a little to fight these guys, because why not? What do we need? Heal first. Golden Vow. And yeah, why not Blood Wind Blade? 
Okay. Hmm. It's just there's a lot here. Thanks and thank you. Ah, there we go. Okay. And one, two. Probably should have charged up heavy first, but I. Thanks. One, two. A stack chain staggering is remarkably easy here. Thank you, and can I... No, alright. Wrong foot. There we go, so let's actually just get... Charge heavy on the head, and then we can... Critical. One. Two, and another hit can... Hopefully kill... I, okay. Nice, there we go, cool. Okay, then. Oh, and you're running. That won't save you. Hmm. What was in the other one? It's some kind of nickel related item, if I recall correctly. This is the St. Trina's Torch, which White Purple Flame induces sleep. Can't send torch. White Purple Flame carves the thick St. Trina, adult form somewhat unnervingly. Mars of Slumber, Hazy Purple Fire, and the sleep ailment upon foes. Huh. Okay. Well then. It's a decent item, but. Got better ways to inflict sleep if we even want to inflict sleep, which it outside of Godskins, well, I don't have much of a reason to do that. Because Godskins are the only enemy of any real note that it works on. Oh, well, actually, it. I could use that on Rune Bears, couldn't I? I could. It TLC does introduce Eternal Sleep, which, honest to goodness. Rune bears are annoying enough. It might be worth it eventually. But I know that there's a big, there's a boss rune bear in another boss rune bear in the DLC. Hmm. Come on, come on. Hmm. Keep on moving and interesting. <clears throat> Anybody or anything else, or... Huh. That's sort of the path you're intended to go to, but are these... This catacombs? Does not seem like it, actually. And you're dropping Roa even up here. You know, respect. Kinda. I- Oh, but... More snails? Okay. I- Oh my goodness. It's just a Nicholas Lily. That's okay, I guess. Oh, so I think... It was attempting the grab attack, which it just couldn't do, because it... I'm on a horse, and it, it'd be funny if it could just grab you off the horse. It would suck, though. I would hate that severely. Hmm, and what's a... Oh, they're fighting off a group of wolves. Interesting. Okay, well, it... They can distract the wolves from now. I pick the wolves off and then attack them. Okay, and all right. Thank you. I mm, interesting. There we go. Which means only you are left. All right, cool. Mm -hmm. Die, die. Okay. So what was on this body? It's just an old thing. Which zoom? Well, if it it's for a lion, it carnivorous beasts. You only get that from. Lions is the thing. I don't even crap at that anyway. But. I wonder if it was holding it as a token, because in theory, maybe you could argue that it was actually from the wolf. That when the wolf attacked it, a fang broke off in its flesh. Well, probably not. And okay, here we go. Here are. Final cave, final catacombs, final. Tunnel and giant concrete is the final hero's grave, then. Hmm. So. Three more levels, and I can just use Blessing the Urge Tree instead without having to worry about. Right, we want to activate the Grace in here first. Okay. Alright. Last Grace discovered. Hmm. Should be able to 
make this work. If we found that, which means we can go over, kill that annoying red wolf, and content ourselves. Okay. Huh. It should be it should be around the vicinity. It's by the Albanoric Rise. Hmm. Come on, come on. <clears throat> Make sure some of this works. Okay. Wolves should be around here, which means... Blessings Boon. Golden Vow. Barrier Gold. Blood Flame Blade. Grails. May as well use this, actually. And we should be in a decent position. Oh, come on. Okay, die. And die again. Let's seal that off and get to a red wolf. Okay, come on. I, where is where's the red one? Not there. Mm -hmm. Die, and... So, red wolf is going to be farther behind then, presumably. Oh, and... Oh, that summons... No, that's a... Okay. School of Raven Mages. Alright, I guess. Two, three, four, just to kill it. That was honestly weirder. Huh. So how far up do I need to go to get that then? We can reapply all of our buffs, I guess. Mm -hmm. Barrier. Blood Flame. Rail. Should be fine. I. There was a red wolf of the champion here. Somewhere around here. But I. Is this it? This should be it. Oh, then. Alright. Fine. I. Dodge. Get out. Let's just keep that roar going and hit nobody. Okay, cool. And can I. Well, can I. Alright, I. Okay. Dodge. Dodge and heal. Heal. I. Hmm. This really, really annoys me. I dodge. Can I? Okay. All right. Thanks. And can I? One, two, and what? Okay. I, all right. And heal, heal. Uh huh. We got a good amount of stuff, but I, okay. Dodge. Okay. Come on. I, all right. Thanks. Slam it. What? What? Okay. What? I right, heal, heal, heal. And I need to. Oh, really? Okay. One, heal, heal. And can I? I dodge. I need to. Dodge, and die. slam, and move back in for a hit, and there we go. Finally, it's dead. Okay. I just... And there's nothing I get from that. It's just... Congratulations, you killed the stupid thing. Which... Okay. Do you find it amusing that I fought and... Wait, where does this go? Huh? Wait. That's... I didn't see that coming. Another way gate too with right the one that leads to mausoleum. Hmm. It where could that even conceivably go? I huh to audience pathway maybe I don't know just uh, skip volcano manor if you feel like it. Let's go straight to Rikard. It. No, but really, I didn't even know that existed. Huh. Wolves around here that I killed. Commoners that I killed. You. Over here, right? That was where I went. Let's go pop that thing and see what happens. Hmm. Let's figure out where to go next. So we got a decent amount of runes from that. Okay. So way gate past that big red wolf. So yeah, we'll see where it leads. The other one just goes to Moglin. Test that out for posterity, even though it won't lead me anything new. Maybe this just goes to Ordina. I would see it. I could see that. Travel to another location. What location is that? That location is. I find it interesting that there's DLC images show up in other places too, and it just. Oh. 
Just sends you to the minor Erd tree. That. Oh, so it just skips across here if you. That could actually be useful, maybe. I. I want to go in the Moog when Dynasty Mausoleum teleport real quick, just to, just for posterity. Oh, Annex Tunnel. Oh, well, one more time. Get a little bit more dexterity. Cool. And then, and then, and then. Yeah, we take... Take this up. Go to that other warp gate, even though it should not really have anything for me. We can just take... One of these runes. Hopefully get a couple more levels. In order to use... Blessing of the Urge Tree instead of Blessing's Boon without having to change. My talisman's around. This is a tunnel with... A bit of frenzy association, but there's an Onyx Lord as a mini boss in there, and the boss at the end of the tunnel. Well, I guess that would make the Onyx Lord kind of a mini mini boss. At the end of the tunnel is going to be Estelle, Stars of Darkness, as opposed to Estelle Natural Born of the Void, which is the one I fought before. But it. The area in general is Consecrated Snowfield. Got a lot of stuff in here just kind of thrown in it. There was an argument that there's sort of an unfinished aspect to it. Given just how many enemies are in here for no real reason other than just, Oh, remember such and such enemy? Well, they're here again. But it... It makes for an interesting experience. It was a sort of greatest hits of the game. And Wait, what?! How did that kill me? That's... Huh? It... That's nonsense. Maybe I'm just not supposed to be able to get there and it killed me as a failsafe, but... That was... Very strange and not in a good way. Hmm. So to loop around and get to... That way gate just to... Just for fun, just for fun. It's been a while since we went to the mausoleum, and it'd be nice to go over there just to be silly. Okay, right, we need to get out before we can use the horse. Now we can horse up, get my, get those runes back. There wasn't all of that many, but prefer not to lose them if I, if I can help it. And yeah, Frenzy Troll with a braided beard for whatever reason. Hmm. Let's see what happens. Come on, come on. Pass that rune bearer. That is there for some reason, and it... Gonna roar or there. I'm going to use... Is that unendurable frenzy or flame of frenzy? It's got more bullets. So I think maybe unendurable, but the only thing is, I don't think I'm supposed to be able to get down there. I think that's why it killed me. Welcome back. Good to have you back. How are you doing? You're free? Okay, cool. And well that okay, that will aggro him, and yet this. Bloodstained Waygate sends me to Mowin Palace. Perfectly caught. Wait, so wait. This is. Oh! Oh, okay. So it is a separate location from the approach. Huh. Dukas Urba. So this is an access spot outside of that way game, but there's no item here, is there? No. No. Huh. So if I could jump up back on here, but this primarily. Just get down here and can't get you actually can get back up into that tunnel. Come down here if you're really, really smart about it, but this is just the palace area from before. It... So is it just you and your sister or the entire family in that apartment? 
Well, we've been here already. We already killed Moog. I don't need to come back here. Well, at least not until DLC. Yeah, so there was a little cave in here, which I actually could have jumped up into if I really wanted, but... Ah, that's funky. So... Catacombs, Cave of the Forlorner. Let's go to the Catacombs first, actually. Let's mark it as... Catacombs should be the easiest, so... <sighs> oh, okay. Huh. In the, in the town she's from, presumably? I would think. Okay, well, I... Hmm. It gets to fire and a slash. Or... Misbegotten Crusader. Weakest to slash and fire. I'll try fire. Okay. Huh. But we can use flint grammy. But I should. Flint grammy strength. And probably. Gotta remember to take. In terms of catalyst. In the chest. Catalyst should take out the gravel stone steel because that does boost things. Well, all of these boost things, so in theory. Mom food. Does your mom have a reputation as being a really good cook? Let's put this in. Use as many of these runes as we can. Should we get a few more levels? Rubber. Hmm. That use all these and what kind of meeting? As in a Zoom thing for work or Microsoft Teams? It it honest to God it. seems a little to just foist a guest onto somebody else's. I would not expect other people to entertain my friends for me. It would be nice if they did that, but it's... I just... Okay. It's the principle of the thing. We need about 22,000 more for another level, and we use so many of these. Okay. So that means we should be able to level Faith one more time and get a slightly better health buff. So you took it upon yourself then. Okay. That makes sense. Let's, yep, and now we can swap this out for busting the Urgery pretty freely. Okay, cool. Just use that whenever. Yeah, that sounds about right. Now we can. That's still heavy. And I... Wow, that's pretty bright. Okay, but it's mostly... Oh, right, I need to actually... I need to go farm. More foul feet. That's right. Oh, but that... No, that goes up. These catacombs go up instead of down. Okay. Well, it... Not much. I died. Sometimes. If you want to see it in person, you can... The VOD will be uploaded soon after. Okay, so how do I want to... Hmm. Turn here right... No, Coliseum is... Hmm. They were over there. How much else? It's fighting bosses in the area. I haven't done any dungeons yet. You haven't missed anything of serious note. Don't worry. Okay. Yeah. So wait, right, I need to go back and farm a few more birds. Right. 
Make more foul feet. Close to the final optional dungeon, too. Which is going to be interesting. So now we can equip some stuff. Put the albinoric head. Put on. <coughs> stuff to boost arcane. It was fun. I did some sabotage. I broke someone else's teleporter so that they wouldn't be able to find me. Because it was connected to a teleporter near my base, Jake. There was a temple near my base that he had a teleport network and I sabotaged it so that he wouldn't be able to teleport to my temple. It Stop being such an obnoxious smarty pants one and two. It it wasn't his base. His specific wording was things that people built. That's not something he built, it's something he found. And the big thing is that Yes, you've always been the smarty pants. Don't pretend that's news. If you have a problem with people calling you a smarty pants, don't be one. Okay. And nice, we have Soldier Scarab, which really, really helps us get feet. How? It... If you want to go entertain that guest again, be my guest. Pun intended. It... You don't have to be smart to be a smarty pants. Don't worry. But as I was saying, as I was saying, the exact words are, do not destroy things someone worked hard to build. It wasn't something anyone built. Okay, suit yourself. Something somebody built. Turnabout is fair play. But as I was saying, I was told not to just blow up things people have built. It's not something anyone built. It's World Dren is a structure. And the big thing is... I have... Plausible deniability. That... I've covered my tracks. That the big thing is, is that... The way the teleport system works is... You have... There's basically a keypad that activates a teleport pad, and the teleport pads are all keyed into a network. And at least the one I found had four linked up with each other. And any keypad, and none of the items are craftable, you can mine and replace them. Big thing is that the keypad as long as it's in range, can activate the teleport pad and will have options on its graphical user interface based on the network of connected teleport pads. But, so if you destroy the teleport pad and take it, the keypad ends up, ends up just basically a brick. You can right click on it and it just says nothing, nothing, nothing. Because it doesn't sense a teleport pad with a network it can key into. But, but, what that means is that, in theory, now that I've stolen a teleport pad, I can put them down anywhere. The big thing is that you basically put them under a block. And they sort of teleport people who are two blocks higher as opposed to just on top, a couple blocks above. So I could hide it under things and set up sort of covert one-way teleports. And if people don't have a keypad on hand to sort of access it and find out where it goes to... Well, I'd probably want a second location to teleport from to be totally safe, but I would be able to pretty easily. Set up. Yeah, it's, it's not all that complicated. The big thing is 
Somebody had teleport that went to near my base. So I destroyed it and sabotaged it so that they would not be able to find me by just teleporting around. That's the idea. Because at least right now I don't want to be found. Eventually I should be able to make a base that is extra dimensional if it's inside a box. But for now I need privacy in a true sense. Because you can make these sort of dimensional hypercubes, which allow you to put machinery that interfaces with the outside. So it can be a way to make compact machines. There are a lot of mods that do stuff like that, including one literally called Compact Machines, just an extra dimensional space to run automation in. But that'll be in the future. Okay, well. Wasn't aggroed yet, even if it roared. Go into the catacombs then. Okay. Thank you, and take that off. Put more stuff on it. It. It would be easier for me to try to count the things that you don't consider complicated. Let's keep on going and. Yep, we have to go up here. And right, we need to craft a few more. It... It's just sort of... What, what kind of response do you want me to get when you say it sounds complicated? Just avoid doing that thing so that you don't have to worry about it being complicated. Right, these are catacombs, not Cave of the Furore. Okay. I mean, I can be nicer if you ask, but you literally respond worse to compliments than to insults. Okay. So, it's just gonna be imps for most of this, I think. And Oh, okay, Frost Trap. Frost Trap. Let's put on our short bow. Start shooting. Deactivate that trap. Okay, I... Thank you. That should, that does take that down, so it keeps going of its own accord separately. And that... Yeah, yeah. Okay, ooh, through wall. Consecrated. Anything in yellow annex... No. Found all of these, I think. And Cave of the Forlorn, anything there? It. I think I found every base game. Stone Sword, I mean, base game always through wall now, which is nice. Except for Frenzied Flame Prescription. Healing Drake. Cerulean Amber plus two. I had plus two before I had plus one for him with Drake. Arise, Moonfolk. Let's end. Play Violet. Crystal Spear, Perfumer, Carmon. Okay. We just work our way through here. And oh, hello, alright. And oh my goodness, you are strong! Oh wow, I. Okay. Huh. It. You don't have to apologize. I was being mean to you. So. Keep on going. Then. You can use this to get up or not because I missed. Okay. And will this. This will raise it up. Thank you. Oh, hello. I. Alright. One. Well, I. Alright. One. Two. Okay. It. Like I said. You don't have to apologize. It. You may not like hearing this, but you are the one with power here. <laughs> it. Okay, thank you. Just go around it. Grave Warden Duelist. 
How long are these catacombs? If I've already seen the door, that would be fair. Got imps, we got... Oh my, okay. Alright, I was not expecting that. So we need to shoot that from a distance, maybe, or... Let's run in and... Run in and bring it down. Okay, so where is... Oh my goodness, you are... I was not expecting that. Can I... Oh, well, it's actually shooting that one. Fine. Let's bring this down. Okay, and just... Use that, and can I... Let's take Blessing and then Golden Vow. Oh, yeah. It... Maybe, maybe so. If you want it to be. The truth is... The truth is whatever you want it to be. Here. And can I... And... Oh, my... There we go, we got... The crit off, and... Oh, nice, this... Healing buff is actually quite nice. Okay. It... Again, it's... What do you want? It... Mm. Thank you, Root Resin, but... Honestly, maybe some... Magic would be good here, too, but... Well, it... Uh, I... Can't exactly claim surprise. Hmm. Keep getting that buff back. Just a health flask. Back ahead, try defeating one by one. Try luring out. Okay, cool. I... Lion Spang would kill these guys. Easy. And Oh my, what? Okay. Can I, oh my, okay. Alright, I... Interesting. I... Slam it. Oh my goodness. Okay, alright. We need healing. Healing battle. Yeah. Okay. Who is... Let me check. As in a real person or a bot? Let me check. Okay. One message hidden from likely scammer moment. Oh, come on. Discord is just not opening. Did fail for trying in two seconds. Okay. Sandy? Huh. I hope not. I... I don't know. I really don't know. We'll see what they say, but I really need to set up my sort of scammer filter, so to speak. There are ways to do that. Basically, it's... What you do, effectively, is... You basically have roll reacts where... What's in here besides? Just a green glove or nine. I, I, okay, that was a lag spike. I might need... I don't know. Might be a loading issue, but... Basically, set up roll reacts in an initial channel that you go into when you launch that basically... There's a role that says, don't click this or you will be marked a bot and denied access to the server. So the big thing is that generally... Bots and scammers will automatically pick every role. So if you have it set up that, that locks you out of the server, you can... That's something I found someone talking about on the line. Okay. But we got decent health regen here, and... What is that guy? What is that guy? Come on, come on. Thank you, we... Hmm. What's up here? Where's the switch? I... Oh, guess what? Urgery Burial Watchdog. Great. Okay. Have fun. I don't take orders from you. Enjoy your food. Oh, come on, I... How is this gonna... And... Go behind it. And how did that hit? I... Okay, I... Okay, interesting, I... Huh, and can I slam and there we go, cool. One, two, 
And now you're dead. That was good. Impad Elder. Grave Violet. 1249. Unaltered Head. Elder Trace Amounts of Arcane Knowledge. And that. Let me see. Arcane Knowledge. Impeds. That boosts Arcane, yeah. To Endurance, Faith, Arcane. It, it's interesting what they chose to get boosted. Hmm. Well, alright, we can continue. It's just a surprising amount of them. That's what really gets me. Oh, there's that Amagra. There are Queen Rots in here. Oh, wow. It's really cool, actually. It's not expecting that. So let's put on stuff as usual. We'll go to Reeves and let's some of this then and we need a bit more in terms of buffs. Thank you. Just in case. And now we can one, two, and three. That was actually rather easy. Queen Rod Helm and Gauntlets. Now to fight once a millennia, despite Neville gradual putrefaction, battles are fiercest of the all. Okay. I think there might be some in Halo Tree, too, maybe. That said, the thing about Halo Tree is it's where the actual Halo Tree Knights are, not the Queen Rots. Let's put our bow back on. And get to shooting. Hmm, I shoot that up over there and will that miss a little? Oh, come on. Hi. Please. And now you're going down. Good. Good for me. Okay. Hmm. Could have shot that a bit more easily from another location. Oh, well. This should be the end of things. Here. Oh, and okay, another amp. Classic. Hi, okay. Cool. I. Yep, and Lion Squad does great damage, too. We're small for the damage as well. Hopefully, we can find our Weber around here. Grave Well Vote 9, and. Oh, multiple Queen Rods. Awesome. Just what I like to see. Okay. And I didn't think there would be any more. What do you know? Bull goat and bull goat. Let's use some of this. Blessing. Golden vow. Flame grant me, and why not? Let's take the blood flame too. It's crazy, on. Oh, Bloodhound's Fang. I- okay, alright, and can I- Or miss, or we can miss. I- ooh, thanks for the- Funny- oh my goodness. I- alright. Mm -hmm. This is aggravating. Thanks. Alright, and can I- Two, and we can- Kill. Alright, and there's your buff. Okay, alright, and- Hmm. Can I- Seven. Another and there we go. Got that fire resistance buff, but it won't save you. All right, cool. Okay, and hopefully this is where my lever is going to be. Or not? Okay. Huh. Go squall for it and with that weed. Oh, you have to go up. That makes sense actually. That's fun. And can I? Hmm. Need to. Hmm. The hammer would be the best way to actually make it raise up then. Very clearly, this is how I need to do it. Okay. I. Okay, there we go. And. A couple of remaining. Here's our lever. Yay! This is. Golden Rune 12. Alright. And it's open. Heavy doors opened. Okay. There we are. Now we can escape. That will off on the sides, which means we can go back west. 
take probably probably want to use Bloodhound's Fang. It's a Grave Warden Duelist, and then Slashing should be good. That's just two more dungeons and first half of Halo Tree, presumably. Hmm. Switch back to you. Put on whatever I can fit. And there we go. Hmm. Should be good, and now we have rather high AR on this thing. 715. Which is almost as good as the hammer. Pretty close. A different damage type though, so I... One, two, three. Okay. Now we go in. Take what we need to take. Drink up. Okay. Blessing of the Ur Tree. Golden Vow. Flame grant me strength. Fort Flame Blade and that we can actually use Grails right now. And a putrid Grave Warden Duelist. Awesome. Thank you. And there we go. We've knocked you back successfully. Which means. Hmm. I oh, alright. Thanks. I Hmm. And can I dodge and move back in for a and another. There we go. We got that and we got the blood. Thank you. Cool. Simple enough. And take that there. And two great glove wards and the rotten gravekeeper cloak. Huh. Two. Thick versus the cloak, eaten through by Scarlet Rot, symbol of an underground gravekeeper station. Huh. Let's leave and go back to. So, Cave of the Forlorn should be next. And that will mostly just be. Misbegotten. Then anything there, or get rid of that. Give it for one. Hmm. Give it for one. And this is definitely good for most of it. Yeah, it'd have to be tunnel, presumably, that would give us enough for. Giant Crusher to get leveled up, which I don't know if there will even be anything in the tree that I might actually want to go for. Stitcher, I don't know. And, oh, red and bloody. With jellyfish somewhere. Wait. What is this reflecting? It's very, very strange. Oh, it's see through, it's ice. That's fun. Golden Rune, and... How do I get back up? That's the worry. Oh, that's simple. Okay. This feels kind of Pikmin to me, honestly. But the stuff we have right now should do. I'm gonna want Halo Drake Talisman for the final bit, but should be fine. We... Let's buff up a little. The interest of making this as frictionless as possible. Freezing grease and. Thanks! Alright, cool. Die. Okay. Eventually, I presume, we're gonna fall through. It would make the most sense to me. Thank you, and. Can I? There we go, and. Pierce. There we are, and. Oh, goodness, you... Okay. Stab, and... Follow up. Didn't get the critical, though. One nascent butterfly. Okay. Mm -mm. So that... Uh, a wary of hiding place. Oh, those ones over there, and... Fire required ahead. It... That's funny. Now, there's no way that actually does anything. No way. 
it, in Dark Souls 2, oh, there were some instances in which you would actually get some benefit to using fire damage to destroy things, but it cannot be here. There's no way that works here. Okay. Starlight Mickles Lily. Then another Mickles Lily. Where is jumping required to have? More of those and really, okay. Huh. It Oh, oh, that's fun. Here is room two. To jump over there from there. Or actually you could Could you reach this room? Yeah, you can reach if you sort of wiggle your way over the side. Nichols hmm. Lily, grass ahead. So that wait. Scaly misbegotten. Stance break and can I Yep, finish that off. Come on. Oh, we need another hit on you. Okay. Yeah, piercing worked wonders there. Huh. So to get underneath, and I don't think there's any kind of shortcut or anything either. That's the thing. This is what and where. Hmm. Any more misbegotten or I guess these are just Nichols Lilies. It's a bunch of Nichols Lilies for some reason. Okay. Go back the other way. Still some might be to find. Before I go down, which I think is going to be its own thing, and there's no way that this actually does anything, but still. I feel obligated to try. Thank you, and alright. Taking the other path. Hmm. This other path would lead to. And break that, okay. And we got a couple of these misbegotten over here. Let's put on a bit of this then. And it. Hmm. Should have enough for that fight. Thank you, and. Alright, okay. Cool. And. Stance break, thank you. Hmm. If I'm smart, I could probably get enough Bruno Flames to take down the Misbegotten Crusader, because it's actually a pretty cheap spell. Oh my goodness, I- what? Just die already. Okay. And wait, what? You- okay? Where is my- okay. Can I- oh, what? 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 Huh? Why is there a rat there? Random rat just ambushing me? Okay, I- alright. Thank you. I just... That was painful and unexpected. How many rats are in there? Huh. I... Guess there's nothing to do but keep looking. But it's just... Really... Rats, why? Why are ahead? Try fire, yeah, no. Oh, that's something in here and that's... More freezing grease. Okay. Hmm. That was nothing of particular note then. Hmm. Uh, uh, uh. And over this way, we can reach out with this spirit jellyfish, it seems. So after this, it's just yellow annex tunnel. Should be easy enough. There, and then this goes down. Hmm. Much for another level of that a decent amount. Hmm. It, it's very icy. We have pack and short trying to feeding one by one. Which Uh-huh, we got lots of misbegotten here. Okay. That means to me, it's time for buffs. Welcome back, how are you doing? Gonna have you. Mm -mm. Defeating one by one, be wary of pack. How many and where then? I okay, one and two. Let's get you down. Oh, okay, what are you eating? And stab and 
Stab again. That's enough to do it like that. That's a kill. Okay, so... Got you up there, and can I... Anti-air? I can try to anti-air. There we go, and it knocked you down. Fun. Okay. Fun by me. But, yeah, what is for dinner? What's the meal of the day? Hmm. So then, can I actually go down and find the jellyfish or a spirit flame arrow? Oh, a rune arc, not bad. Always nice to get more of those, and... Wait, so... Secret passage ahead. Sicilian macaroni, tomato sauce, and eggplants. You really are an eggplant person, huh? Not that there's anything wrong with that. I... So there's something up at this place. I've gone down and... It... Weird. Huh. This... Liar had. Can you put the forlorn? Forlorn. How do you get through? I... Those lily. Hmm. Selactites, nascent butterfly. Must be gotten. Climbing again. Fall platform by platform. Jellyfish. Okay. Huh. Let me go back and do some climbing. Bigger. It... Well, so is this the way up, or? Scaramouche has the exact opposite approach. I'm surprised that you wouldn't follow your idol more closely. Hmm. Let's go over it. So one of these climbing points is apparently supposed to let me get to another room. Then who is? Hmm. Climbing up here is... Wait. Or hold the fall down, or... Wait. Ah, there we go. That's how we have to proceed. Oh, Zhao, right. That's right, okay. Sorry for forgetting. I'm slipping. Clearly I... have gotten... gotten a bit slack. Okay. How... How did it make you feel when he was briefly one of the best characters in the game, or on one of the best teams, because the Zhao Yan Yu and the Farazan Fiorina team? How did that make you feel? And go over. Drop them down. Okay. Crystal Dart. Mickles Lily. It. Do it yourself. Go down to get to the Misbegotten Crusader. Two, three, four, five, and okay, dodge the poison. Thank you. Cool. Doth Ross. And hmm. Yep, so we're underneath, and you can see that dragon frozen in the ice. What what Korean song is your brain playing? This worries me. Uh, how far down? This is just sort of a way point, but I wonder when that guy is gonna hit me. I should buff up now. Let's put Golden Order seal in this hand, Giant seal in the other. Oh, because you think it's true. We need a bit more of this. Golden Vow. Glenn Grant Me. And actually, we should put on Hail of Drake. Plus two. It's got some holy on it. And then we grail it up. And okay, you're past here. Alright, let's do this thing. Misbegotten Crusader. 
And you've got the Golden Order Greatsword, so do your thing. All right, and there we go. Cool. And what's Bruno Flame? And can I dodge? Can I... Oh, all right. I, oh, right. I, wrong, wrong stuff. I, right. Can I burn and burn and... Oh, my... Okay, nice. And avoided that entirely. That's crazy. I, okay, all right. This damage is very crazy. Okay, I dodge. Can I... And so, burn, burn and... There we go. Cool. That Golden Order Greatsword. Nice. It be nice. Don't judge people based on their appearance. If you were ugly, would you deserve death? Let's see how all this works here. I... Subjective things like that are not a good way to measure yourself. And let's just burn you. That's such a good spell. So that is one of the legendary argument armaments. Great sword made of light, modeled after the Elden Ring itself. King Consort Radagon proudly symbolizes the tents of the Golden Order. One of the legendary armaments. Subtle Sons Betray. This is once a great sword bequeathed to him by his first wife, Renala. And I think I should have. Every only if you get bored easily, honestly. I guess the question is is it immortality with or without sort of if it where if it renders you frail? Immortality without frailty. It's yellow. Annex tunnel. Bruno Flame is so good. Western Alabaster Lord, Minor, and an Onyx Lord, so. Yeah, I, I'm never going to read it. I don't plan on reading it. Mm -mm. Okay. Thank you. Medium load and take this down. I think that's subjective. I could say the exact same thing about people who try to get other people to read fairy tale. Come on. Come on. So this will hopefully work well for the S still fight. I wonder if anything else is down here, but I should really. Hmm. <laughs> so what is on which side? For what? Not thinking it's funny for someone's boobs to get accidentally grabbed? <laughs> okay. So how many... Well, I could use Blessing the Urge as my primary method of healing, honestly. Let's allocate my charges, and this, this is a decent allocation. Even four is often too little for a dungeon run. Hmm. Let's see these guys are just dead. That coin first time for striking. Well, nothing. First off, are you ready? Maybe. Down ahead and then likely door. Or is there? Is that true? Huh. I, okay. Try down. What else is going to be in this area? This... I get the feeling that there'd be destruction. It... I think a lot of that is, to be frank, wishful thinking. Oh, it does not open from this side? Okay. It... It's kind of like how the guy who made... Wasn't it the guy who made Soul Eater went on to make Fire Force, and that's why you won't tolerate people insulting it? It... I mean, maybe it's partially for humor, but it's largely meant to be appealing in that sense. 
it... I mean, it's okay for you to like it anyway. But it's also okay for people to not like it because it makes them uncomfortable. Okay. Well. But... Never mind. It... I don't have to talk to. I can just talk about the game. <laughs> okay. Come on, and how far up is this going to go? Luckily, all these miners go down pretty easily. I should upgrade this weapon. I can do it, so I should. And I... Hmm. The buffs were off, which is why it dealt a little less damage. It... Don't take this the wrong way. But I am a little tired right now. And I would prefer constructive conversation. Oh my goodness. Come on. I don't really... Well, actually, the big thing is... I. Let's heal up. I, okay. Come on. One. Two. Three. Four. Thank you. Oh, right. There's another stone down here. Smithing stone eight. So now I have... Okay. So what you're saying is that... It's easier for you to be mean to people than to have con constructive conversations. I... That's a rather revealing admission. Luckily, we can loop back around here now. Enjoy your fish. Well... You probably should. And we can just hit again and, yeah, knock you out before you hit. And that one should not respawn. Should be pretty free. Well, it... Heroes Rune 5. Didn't drop anything special, but I don't think it respawns either. Smithing Stone 8. Well, there are a good amount of Smithing Stones in the area. Another Somber Stone 9. Nice. Right in this area. Hmm. Interesting. Smithing stone eight. How much more? So now we can open that, that's good. Which means it might be a good time to just dip or wait, is this the boss or open? Let me see. I Yeah, it's just big cave. That's where the boss is. Wow. Okay, cool. Let's just open that up to go through. This is right. It whoops around. Okay. Go back and upgrade this thing a bit. With the many ancient dragon smithing stones we have. Okay. Hmm. Sorry if I was a little insensitive with that. Okay. It... Honestly, I should have cut things short or called them off if I was this tired. It, it's tough to make those calls sometimes. But still, I apologize. And there should be stuff down here. Oh, another. Some more of those lord enemies. So that means I should probably buff up a little before that. That's clearly going to show up soon. One, two, and oh, all right. I like we've got enough poison to go through that. Pickaxe new. Little wretches, armor think your armor harder than stone. Your adept piercing armor, not original weapon. Thick bedrock tools, sturdy miners. It... It's not that bad. I'm just a little more irritable than it's responsible to be. 
Main thing is... I'd like to at least beat this dungeon, get through a bit of Halo Tree. There's not that much more left here. Yeah, yeah. There you are, okay, and now we can... Alabaster and... There we go, just poise through that and get the stance quick and kill. Okay. Fair. And get a couple of these. Smithing stone eight, another smithing stone eight. Alabaster Oh, we got another Alabaster Lord sword. That that's interesting. I guess. This is Ah, just a random ancient dragon smithing stone. It it's for a smithing for a mining tunnel. There honestly aren't that many smithing stones in here. But to get out of this... <sighs> to escape this spot... Yeah, because I want to go back and go to the hold. Level this giant crusher to plus 25 and... Use it to... Destroy a s Astol or a Stel or... However you pronounce its name. And that would mean everything in Snowfield would be basically done, which would be nice. Okay. Mm -hmm. One, two, jump up. It's fun hearing the different train walking and jumping sounds and the fact that when you make the sounds on ice, it jump on the ice and you hear it sort of crack a little. They do very well with the sound design in this game. It really helps with the atmosphere. And over up here is just the way back. Go over, go to Hugh, upgrade. Upgrade this thing and be done with it. Kill the giant falling star beast at the end, which could also be done with a meteorite spell, but I uh, don't feel like it. Hammer's fun, and if I'm going to get it a plus 25, it stands a reason that having more uh, might, have had, might as well have a good place to show it off. Alright, let's go back to the hole real quick. That's the final dungeon in Consecrated Snowfield. Not Ultra South, but Table of Lost Grace. Okay. Let's go to Hugh. And then... I could definitely get through the first part of Halo Tree. I don't think I could get through Elfail, but it's basically a separate dungeon anyway. There we go, and Ancient Dragon, and there we have it. So, generally he has special dialogue about, oh, wanting to make a weapon to slay a god, which is a plus 10 for Somber, or plus 25 for standard just using an ancient dragon smithing stone, but since I already used one of those by getting one from Mogwin Palace before Altus. Because normally... You're not supposed to be able to get a plus 10 weapon before the Morgoth fight. But we did, because we went to Mogwin Palace early. Via Vare, which meant that this sort of dialogue event with Hugh just did not get triggered, and I think I should reallocate my flasks. I this fight might be a bit of trouble, which means I think I will allocate to This is fine. Should be fine. Just in general. Honestly, I probably only need two blue, but the big thing is. Shouldn't need more than 10 red. Should be in a good enough position. So we can buff up and... Big guy's gonna show up once we get past here, so... Let's... Get to it. Golden Vow. Flame grant me. Rails roar, and then we spam. Yep, and you're nice and far away from me. Awesome. I... And, don't, oh, well, I, okay, fine. Okay. I dodge. Dodge, and I, mm, just like this, and roar. Cool, and oh my goodness, that is some serious 
damage and I'm gonna need to look up. Look up. And now you're gonna grab her. No, are you gonna grab or not? I and dodge. Thank you. I need some more of this. Grail is tough. Okay, now we need. Feels the last a while. Not buff last a while, so can I? Slam it. Slam the hammer down. And can I? Thanks. Slam it. I need. Well, alright. I did not expect that. Okay, well, I, that was actually pretty decent to avoid. I, okay, nice, there we go, which means we can bash the head. Thank you, thank you. All right, and just a couple more of those should maybe do the trick. And slam it, another, another, all right. Slam it, one more, one more, and well, all right. This means heal, heal. Okay, nice, and is the grab attacker. Now we're gonna try the grab attack, but first we can hit you, and well, hit, 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 oh my, what? I thought that would work. Die, die. There we go. Okay, cool. Finally. Meteorite of Astol. Fun. And that's the end of Consecrated Snowfield. One of the glintstone sources that manipulates gravitational fortresses. Thank you. Summons a void that emits a hill of meteorites full to continue effect. Manifestation of the power with which Astol leveled the Eternal City. All right. And okay, so the teleport back is over there. The funny thing is that this spell is actually really good at killing the Astle too. Because it deals pure physical damage, well, almost entirely pure physical damage, which the Astle is weak to. And... It's generally it's quite good. Now we can go to the Halo Tree again. I went here a bit before so I could get access to Black Flames Protection, which... Should be a good option for a lot of things here. If I need a defensive buff. It... Yeah, let's take it. Maybe. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We'll take that. That's physical resistance, but... It... And see... Use a warp gate in Ordino, liturgical town, which is over here. Face that we can kind of see a little of that... A little bit of buildings, but this is the final area of the game, basically. Well, final optional area. Because farm is always well, going to be after this, too. Hmm. Put this away. Put most of these away. I mean, one last legendary armament in farm is itself. Or you can get it from Bernal, but only if you kill him in the Warmaster Shack. As it's the Devourer Scepter, associated with Rygard. Yep, tree level. See down there, this keep, which is Alpha, the brace of the Halo Tree, the depths of the Halo Tree. Let's probably make it daytime. Okay, a little bit more endurance. Hmm, this reminds me a little bit of Fountainhead from. Second hole, just because we're going on trees. And to be fair, it... Oh, it was basically at the same time. Okay, cool. So then, my question is... What items and where? Oh, come on. Die. That is still not a one-tap, no matter what I do, so... Luckily, the knockback isn't gonna knock me off, which is good, because otherwise... It... That would be really annoying, just getting knocked off. Hmm. Hello. And two. I thought that was the sun, but no, I think that's the Erd Tree. Hmm. But to actually get over to tree itself. So if we aren't seeing, a jumping heavy actually is a one hit kill on at least some of them. And there we go. Hmm. What music they make? And, I, uh, all right, we missed, we botched it. Okay. Mm -hmm. Get over there and over here. So I can't drop down to that from anywhere. I have to go up and then drop back down to get back. Okay. That over there. Could I reach that? It would be safer to just go from its actual level and... Oh well. Thanks, and can I... Mmm, well, we... Goodbye. Okay. 
Sometimes they'll drop their horn. Golden rune. Oh, we got ants here. Huh. That's interesting. Main thing with that would be... The weakest to fire, but I don't have a fire projectile right now. I just have burn of flame, which is good, but not perfect. And for these purposes, not all that amazing. Okay, well... Hmm. These things are going to try to blow me off. I should keep my distance. Hmm, okay. Hmm. So envoys are something for sure. One, two, and... Oh my, what? Okay, all right. And, oh, there's a Miranda flower there. One, two, okay. Huh. Poison bloom and... Ah, oh, big one, big one. Okay. Can I slam and... One, two, three... Die. Mm -hmm. It working my way over through here. Here through the canopy is going to be a whole thing. It seems. Well, I. Oh my goodness. I. All right. Bunch of you right over there. Don't like that. I think the ants are going to be annoying. So actually, could I have giant seal on here? Let's increase the power. Yeah, it's still at medium low. That's good. So, Bruno Flame right here. Actually, Bruno Flame right here. Okay, just like that. And can we burn a flame? And yeah, all right, all right, good. Doesn't even cost that much for literal firestorm. All right, cool. And burn a flame. Thank you. And oh well, it had some problems with oh the slow. All right, but it. It's good damage. It's really good damage. Okay. I keep that on there. We're also having this available. And kind of got me under, which is good. But, oh, right. We need more damage this way. Thank you. I, all right. And, oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. All right. And heal. Heal. Hmm. I, oh, what? I, what? What in the goddamn hell? I need Black Flame's protection on that, honestly. Oh. Okay. Hmm. Huh. Okay. Alright. That's something. Mm -hmm. As good as Bruno Flame is, I need a projectile. Let's put... Oh. Black Flame back on. That's always a good one. I suppose we could put... Godslayer Seal. So all these are literally just for the... Minor buff to certain spell damage I get. Spells damage I get. Hmm. One, two... Uh-huh. I just... <sighs> Slam. Slam. I feel like I need to kill everything here. Maybe I do. We're at level 180. Envoy Horn. Well, I already had one of those. It's interesting how those are purple drops. How rarity is coded for various things. Hmm. <clears throat> Getting over there is going to be an ordeal. The idea is to get inside the Halo Tree. And, oh, that's right. I can take Giant Seal off because I'm not using any Giant Swing incantations right now. It's black flame and yeah well you can fall off okay again suit yourself mm -hmm. Get down there I did that before yeah okay just getting a little confused okay thank you and okay well you know falling to your death also works for me not you Actually, <clears throat> might be able to just black flame. Guys up here, maybe. Thanks, and another one, another one. There we go, cool. Not too good at hitting me. That's, oh my, what? Okay, never mind. Okay. Got a couple of them gone, but I, oh, just the spawning, spawning the bubble on my location is nasty work. Okay. One, two, okay. Oh my goodness, and this is 
Aeonian butterfly makes sense, but okay. Well, I oh come on, you wait what no? Oh come on, goddamn! I hate this place. Why does this place exist? Okay. It. Yeah. It's just evil. Lost those runes. Doesn't really matter. Okay. One, two, and it would be nice to just have Lord's Divine Fortification because of all these holy deal damage dealing enemies. But that's literally walked at walked past. You have to kill Melania to get that. It's they really said, you know. All these enemies that just snipe at you with holy damage projectiles. Oh, the one spell that would allow you to just negate most of the damage is locked behind beating the area. No, it, I guess it makes it easier on New Game Plus runs, but it's just the definition of insult to injury. They, they knew what they were doing. They had to have. Dropping down here, that was probably a good idea, honestly, on those mushrooms. Okay, well, fall off. Fall off and die. Mm -hmm. Well, the ones who snipe at me are very annoying. I need to kill the big one and then the rest will follow. Thank you. I Okay, thanks. One, two, three, four, five. And okay, what in, the, what in the... Okay, thanks. I heal, heal. I just really, really... At least the fact that they actually use theirs as weapons, honestly, makes them easier to deal with, but... So you see we have a bit of Scarlet Rot in here, as one does. Uh, uh, I hate this place so much. Hate you, Halo Tree. One, two, okay, and just... Huh? How, how did that hit me? Whatever, I... Come on, I... Clearly, clearly, I'm... What?! Huh?! God damn! It's the dumbest thing. I can't use that rune arc until I've got past this area. I just can't. Also, I need... Honestly, that's what I need. That should be helpful. But let's just use this anyway. I really just hate this place. I really do. It... They're so, so... Persistent. It's just that meaningfully increased my resistance, but it's still... It's still gonna suck. Envoy, horn... I'll fail. Next time is going to be Elfail, and then probably Farm Azula. Good part of it, but the question is just how Endgame is going to work. I will do that. Thank you. Thanks. Bye. And knock you off or not. Thank you. And oh my. Okay. That will do it. Swatting you down is harder than it should have had to be. I. Let's just buff out. No real reason not to. Black Flame's protection will not help me here. Okay. Thank you, and get that back. Try not to fall, and it's just... All those guys are so nasty. It... The fact that this even exists. One, two, three, four. Okay. Hopefully that worked, but... Getting on top of there to kill those ones up there is going to suck, suck. Okay, cool. One, two, and come on, you really? Okay. It we've got golden vow, but past that I just really, really hate this. One, two, and oh my goodness, die, die. Yo, yo. But where are they all going? Are they all going? 
This just leads back up. Then V. So I need to follow this. Get up there and kill those ones is gonna be a whole thing. Okay. Now we can black flame the ants to death. Should be fine. Thanks. Yeah, that worked really, really well for me. The boost from God Slayer Seal is pretty nice here then. Let's take that and Luckily, one of their friends dying does not seem to alert the other all that much. Well, that does, kinda. And there we go, okay. Cool. That worked much better. It is good as Burno Flame is. Not being a projectile does hurt. Hmm. It is nice that you know, they kinda balanced. The damage of projectile spells is less than a melee hit usually, even though they also consume FP. Now that alone is kind of balanced, though to be fair, they do also have Ashes of War for a similar type of deal. The big thing is, to me, thank you, I, alright, thanks, oh come on, I, can I, oh, alright, slam, one, two, three, at least they're easy to stagger, that is... Some small mercy. And there was something up here, and that's... What is this? This is... Prattling Pete, my beloved. That's funny. This person's a love amongst the most fickle. My beloved. I wonder who that would have been from. Oh, we got that now, so let's... Continue along our... Hillwood Tree Path journey. And hopefully not fall off and die. Again. For the billionth time. Hmm, but... Let's get through the tree. Elfail is not that far away. Shouldn't be. So... Golden Vow. Thanks. And where is... The group of envoys who shot at me before? I need vengeance. Oh no, this is not the way. Uh, that was where I came from, but you can see I just go right on the tree. As of course there is. And this is right over there was you're up there, okay. But to get to that is going to be more trouble. Of course. Oh my goodness, I maybe a bow would work. Honestly. This could be a good opportunity to use the bow. Because it would knock them pretty far away. I... Let's try that. Fletched bone great arrows. And just... Let's get to it. And shoot. There we go. Goodbye. Goodbye. What is that thing? Oh, a really, really big oracle envoy. Funny. I... Let me see. Let's hold down on that and then... Keep sniping. And... Oh, this is satisfying. This is what I should have done. From the start. <laughs> Just sniped at everything. Now that... That's good. It's real good, but... Oh, that doesn't work all that well in that Miranda flower. For a number of things... I, well, and you can reach me from here. So that was a really, really bad, really, really bad idea. So now you can see me. I, okay. I, okay, come on. and Shoot, and there we go. Will that kill you? Kill that one. Hmm. How many more? I see a couple of others. Let's line this up. And there we go. Also, not dead? Okay. Huh. I, and, of course, you can... Can they get one of sight? I hope not. Uh, I... Knocking these guys off, if at all possible, is definitely the most convenient way to do this, but... Well, it fell off now. That's good. So is this going to be enough space to make this work? I... They're up there. Not for long. Die. Okay, cool. And that... 
should have knocked it off. Maybe. Or not, or not. Not unless the game hates me. I Oh, come on. Okay. And you are over there, so can I... Let's just shoot and... Well, we mess it up and... Oh, come on. Come on. Uh, uh. Okay. So I can actually hit from here, presumably. Let's shoot. And that should be the last one I... How are you strafing? Luckily, when we shoot, that's... Death. Okay. Hmm. How many more? We, we can always craft more arrows. That's the thing. Let's craft more, which helps. But I... Mm -hmm, not here. Not here. Yeah, just dispatching them from range is... Gonna be the way to do it. At this point. If I can... Knock them off, I can... Make it work. I... Not if it drops off. Okay. Well, you are... Different... Okay. Let's get our golden vow back up. Hmm. It... It's nice to get good use out of bows. I think there's a strong argument that this is basically the reason bows exist in this game. I, okay, go on. There we go, let's... Critical you, and can we... Well, I... Sometimes they'll drop their great horn. They did not do it that time. Envoy Crown? Okay. That Oracle Envoys. This will be up several layers of cloth. Reason to see bubble scales. No one knows what it hides. Claimed to have heard a faint whimpering from inside. Must have been their imagination. Huh. Interesting. Alright, let's get that healing back. And there shouldn't be all that much more in here. Yeah. We can progress down the branches and hopefully reach solid ground instead of tree branches. Dappled cured meat. That's not entirely new. Okay. Dappled medicinal solution. Funny how they say that, honestly. Thank you, and can I fall off? And can I... Well, okay. Alright, thanks. I One, two, and... Oh, okay. Alright, and heal, heal. Thanks. Oh, come on. You die, die, die. Die. And one, two. So there's the Envoy Horn, the Envoy Long Horn, the Envoy Great Horn. And then this would allow me to go back, but it's not what I'm doing at the moment. Hmm. It's just. Hillwig Tree is so big, and for what? Hmm. Blessing. Then, well, also, Black Flame would work pretty well on the Miranda, actually. That's true. Probably the best way to take it out. Just flowers. Mm -hmm. I do not want to have to oh, fall down here. The good thing is that the bubbles don't deal knockback. If the bubbles don't knockback and could knock you off with any level of reliability, that would be... That would make this unplayable. Almost unplayable. This is... Aeonian Butterfly. Okay, cool. Slash, and anything. No. Okay, well, we got you. Let's just... Start tossing Black Flame. Should be decent. I okay, well, alright. Thank you. Okay, and... Charge that up, and we can... Well, that got on one of the branches, and... Okay, we are doing okay, then. As long as it doesn't go up, we're good. Fun. Damage is good. I Okay, let's... We're out of the way. Thank you. And... Decent. Okay. Approach a bit, and again, really? Okay, fun. Not fun. Okay. Mm hmm. Don't have golden bow anymore either. Okay. Thanks, thanks, and can we one two and another. That should kill. There we go, cool. And no more, no more It's past you. Anything past you, nothing past you. Nothing gets past that guy. 
Okay. Fire Grease, and go down here and get whatever this is. I think it might be a Rune Arc. Should be good, because we're kind of running low. This is... Oh, a Stone Sword Key. It... Okay, I did not really need that. It's just leads down... Oh my goodness, I... Pfft, heart skipped a beat. If I had fallen down there and died, I would have probably killed someone. Reserving boluses and... Thank you, and where is... Where is a safe spot to drop down? Over here, probably. Drop down to that other level, and then hopefully find another side of grace. And escape these branches, I hope. Hmm, maybe. I see some kind of scarab over there. Hmm. Big thing is, this area will conclude with a fight against... Or Red and Knight of the Halo Tree, who we previously fought before is Royal Knight Loretta in Karia Manor. But yeah, we're getting closer to hopefully solid ground. A lot of branches, but yeah, only a few of them are actually places you go. Makes sense, though. I Oh, and wait, what is more Miranda's or- Wait, what? Huh? I- Okay, n nonsense. I, oh my goodness, I, of course I'm rotted now. Of course I'm rotted now. I hate you so much. I, thank you, I- What? Huh? I, okay? That's just stupid, stupid. Okay. I... I'm just gonna run at this point. I don't even care about any of this BS anymore. It... Kill the things here already. I don't need to do it again. Should be able to get a rune arc in the branches here, but even if I can't, well, that's life. I just don't really care about that anymore. Come on, come on. It... I'm in real pain here. They've got more of these guys. The question is, will this one-tap? It will not one-tap unless I have Golden Valop. Alright. With the Golden Valop, I bet it would. Okay. Even without that, you know it. So we're in a decent position. I did not mean to do that. Okay. Thanks, and that will kill in one hit. This answer going to be... Oh my... What? Oh my lord. How did you see me just then? Okay. Whatever. Oh, that guy is gonna be pain and suffering to kill. Thanks, I- alright. Hmm. There, and flaming bolt- really? So that's just instant death. Okay. Okay. I guess I could try. Oh. Set of block claims protection, protection paper tree. Which is kind of a garbage spell. Normally, if you have the better alternatives, we don't have the better alternatives. So. Oh, and I can't use that! Damn. Divine fortification should be okay, though. We can just keep reapplying these while we go through. But I. This sucks. Really, really sucks. <coughs> oh. <coughs> oh. Feels like something is stuck in my- thank you. Feels like something is stuck in my throat, too. Don't know why. But it- It- This is a really dumb time to be getting sick. It... I don't know. Thank you. Okay. Let's go past the ants. And... Try to... Not die this time. Got our protection up. So... Hopefully that should do the trick. And... We rolled correctly in that... A Newman's rune? Okay. Oh. Big question is how I'd get to that guy. 
zeros, preserving bosses. This seems promising. Campsite ahead. Is that... I think I see a grace. That is very good. Oh, so that goes down farther, but it doesn't move yet. Okay. This reminds me a little, well, we've seen more of those lamps. Reminds me a little, actually, of... See for Aqueduct. Hill mm -hmm. Tree Town. And that. Huh, reached there. Should mean that I think we'll it will be around that way. We'll see. But. Contraption does not move. Awesome. So awesome. Mm hmm. It's funny that there is actually placeholder terrain west of the game map that nothing was ever done with. A lot of people thought some DLC might take place there, and that just did not end up being true. Thanks. Oh, that's not a one-tap. Okay. Huh. Oh, all right. Thanks. Yay, Scarlet Rot. A flaming bolt. Survivors to save up the Scarlet Rot fiercely burn Radon's army. Okay. Question then is how if at all I'm going to get, get around there. And it I don't think I can actually get around and kill that thing. Like I am now. Okay, thanks. What I should do is put some stuff back on. Divine fortification. And then maybe I can try to get back up. Maybe. Hmm. This is... Hello, how are you doing? Good to see you. I... And we need to... Roll. Thank you. Not bad, actually. Not that bad. Slash... Oh, my goodness. Okay. Oh, wow. That's... Scary. Classic sister. And let's use this. Thanks. Take that and roll. Roll. Okay, cool. Now we just cut you up. Thanks. Oh my goodness. I, okay, and roll. Okay. Can I get down there from here? I think I can. I think I can. Yeah, I can. I'm very, very careful about it. Okay. Cool, and... One, two, and... Okay. Well, I can see each other now. That's good, I guess. Hmm, so... Got a scarab, and... Oh, come on. One... To and oh my goodness. Okay. Well, it. I'm almost done, actually. I won't be going for much longer, is the thing. Okay, so what's down here? What's my reward for going down here? One and. Oh my. Oh my goodness. I, okay. Oh, I could probably kill that envoy here. Giant envoy. Hello, giant envoy. I, oh my goodness. Can I? Slash. Charge and oh my, there we go. And there we are. We can get a critical off on you. And can we? No, we couldn't get the stance. That's fair. It a lot of people are tired right now. A lot of people are tired right now. Revenge over revenge. Yeah, definitely revenge. My question is I want a rune arc for that fight with Loretta. We're at a rematch. This is oh, just Los Angeles of War. That's okay. So that branch, this is above that side of race we went to previously. So we keep going this way. I wonder what we're going to find. Let's see. Uh, that then, and there is... Wait, so that led to what? I don't think I can get up there, at least not right now. It's not a way to jump over. Let's put on straw out again, and then use my other buffs. So I need to prevent it from killing me with holy damage. Okay. Right, there was the other Miranda down there, right? I need to kill. Okay. Let's use this and... Get Black Flame back on, which means... Right, left hand. Oh, it... Why do you think that is? Just Strasser. Come on, come on. Luckily, there's not much they can do. 
It... But... You said they're getting worse. Why do you think they're getting worse? As opposed to just staying the same. Okay. Unless you don't want to answer that question, which is also fine. Let's go over and... See... What those envoys are up to. Again, if you don't want to answer, you don't have to answer, but... I was asking a different question. Okay, so... Hmm. I think maybe you might feel guilty about not doing things, which happens to a lot of people sometimes. I... Uh, oh, come on. Really, really... Oh, come on. I hate this. I... Come on. And... Can we advance? Nope. You have a fleeing attack? That's ridiculous. Come on. Oh, my... What? What? Oh, come on. I hate you so much. I one and what? Okay. Heal, heal. And hitting me is awful. Awful work. I slash. And there we go. That's critical. I wait, what? I what? Huh? Huh? This game is so stupid sometimes. Okay. That's understandable. Hmm, but just, what in the goddamn is going on here right now? Oh, I, uh, should be a rune arc somewhere here. Okay. It, you don't have to give a short and incomplete answer because you think it's not going to be fast enough. I would much rather have a complete answer than a sh quick answer that does not answer the actual question at hand. You can take as long as you need. I can occupy myself. Hmm. Scarlet Rodents. Thanks. Then down here is more of that. Uh, bolus's or let's use those. Okay. And, oh my goodness, okay. So we got our fortification up, at least we should. But I just... Uh, this is awful. But... Okay. Come on. Hate you. Hate. Hate and... Can I... Okay. Mm. Thanks. I... Uh, going for the critical and it... The altitude that I need to be at actually to get that critical off is weirdly finicky, it seems. I don't like that. Hmm. Got more of you. Okay. Golden Vow. Divine Fortification. Guess we could get Blood Flame Blade too. Okay. It. You don't have to answer the questions if you don't want. If you don't want to and can't answer them, you don't have to answer every single one. Whether you want to or not. I what? <sighs> I honestly wish this game had ad had adaptability. So that I could just use Flash Passer. But... It... Do you want me to speak more slowly? I mean, I won't, but it'd be nice to know. Okay. Hmm. Uh, divine Fortification. Okay. But it's... The big thing is that I would prefer you not have to give rush yourself and give incomplete answers that's not just a problem for you it's a problem for me i okay that only gave a little bit of knockback that's manageable then okay 
Mm -hmm. Come on, come on, come on. Yeah, it's... I don't expect an answer to every single question. But... Okay, let's crit. I... It doesn't really matter all that much. It... Don't worry about it. Okay. Uh, we may as well take the Physic Flask, I guess. Divine Fortification. Blood Flame Blade. Okay. Kill these guys. Okay. Just... This is not something you need to take as seriously as, as you do. And one, two... Okay. Fair enough. I will probably be done soon anyway. And may as well. Okay, cool. Envoy's Longhorn. Oh, that's new. And oh, we got the Great Horn. That's interesting. Oh, we got the Envoy Ashes. Spirits of four Oracle Envoys. Ben Musicians Envoy Sacred Arts. Envoys appear playing pipes and wrap up a new god or a new age. It might be allergies. There are hypo anti allergy eye drops you could use, actually. Too early to sound the call. Profoundly lady, words are sure to be felt. Bubble shower, spoon, float gently before raining down. Math massive magic bubble. I'm really waiting in that. I could use it. Let me just try those things. That one's actually a colossal weapon. We got the horn, we got. Longhorn. Oh. Okay. Well, if you have Orgic Conjunctivitis, wouldn't eye drops work? It. You can still use eye drops for that. If you don't want to, that's fine. But. It. Okay. I think your body just wants you dead. <sighs> we need a few more rune arcs. Okay. And it might be an environmental thing too. Do your Neighbors engage in any potential polluting activities. That's another possible lead. Hmm. Scarab, Eleanor Cat, Erica Scarseal. And yeah, we need to farm more Runarchs. It. That does not necessarily negate things, depending on how the water supply might work there. If your neighbor puts the water supply nearby, that can still redound on you. Hopefully I'm past the worst of it, but we'll see. Golden Rune and Peace Repellent Torch. Okay, cool. Thanks. All right. Thank you, thank you. I, mm. Okay, well. I was just trying to think. It. I hate to think. I hate to think that you're helpless. It. Okay. It. That that does make me worry. Okay. If anything, that makes me worry more, because it means... Okay. Okay. Hmm. So these rats will sometimes drop rune arcs. I did some farming earlier because, you know, 
The point of the game in which rune orcs came easily is long gone. The only thing I can really do is just kill the remainder. Okay. Right. Okay, fair. Now it... 15 more minutes maximum. It will not go for much longer. Given that the only thing I'm doing here is trying to kill... To get a rune arc. Oh! How is that? Water or... Okay. I just... Oh, okay, that makes sense. I, I feel like this is reaching a level of toxic codependency. If... You, you don't need to put up with everything. Okay. Okay. Oh, okay, because it's drying out. Okay. <sighs> it takes a while to get these. I've got... It's about a 1% drop chance, and it's... Got 2 and 4 discovery, so about doubled. Every little bit helps, but it's still just... Hmm. Let's see how many times I've done it in millennia. I know that there should be at least one more rune arc in the Halo Tree somewhere, so I'm counting on that. It. This is when you really know you're falling. So to speak, you have to farm rune arcs. But it. The nice thing is that with a beast repellent torch, if I can one hand this and it still kills in one hit, beast repellent torch keeps them from. Bothering me too much, and there we go, we got a rune arc, which means I can go home now. Well, we'll go back to the Halo Tree now, which is kind of the exact opposite of home for me. It's kind of a hostile and horrible place. Okay, cool. Let's rune arc up and go back to the tree. Alright, alright. Back to Halo Tree Town. Okay. Well, whatever helps, whatever works. I just would not like you to suffer on my behalf, quote-unquote. Bull go and need fizz res and probably holy still. Okay. Here we drink, and that should be a shortcut to around where the... Boss is presuming. Oh my goodness. This is interesting. Okay. Huh. Oh, and they're misbegotten here. Okay. One. Luckily, the sword works pretty well. Iron Cleaver. Hmm. Okay, sorry. Please suffer on my behalf. Is that better? Sorry. And... Oh, so... Th oh, they're praying. That is... No, I feel kind of bad. Kind of. So they drop old things, golden runes, and... If I charge up a... Fully charge heavy, that just one taps them. Okay. Hmm. Get over there. What happened if I climbed up this? Clearly that will weed down eventually to Loretta, I think. But I hear... Some misbegotten, or... Oh, a bunch of corpses. Great. Hi. Okay. Die. Die, die, die. Here we go, and... Mushroom, and... Can I... Oh, okay. Hmm. Rock grease, and... To get over that way, then... That's an interesting question. Let's just go over. We can make that jump just barely. Oh, hello there. Sneak up and try to. One and one, two. And you do not need to apologize for a single thing. And will that drop anything or. Okay. Cruel Drake plus two. It just. If 
it's probably not an actual problem. But in the advent, it really was. It. I'm surprised he didn't just fall off. I doubt it's really a problem, but even if it is, the solution is not... The solution is change. Oh, and oh, you were trying to push me off. I, to push me off, that's nasty. Some nasty work. I need to check around the edges then. Hello. One, two, three. And then... Oh, I, oh my goodness. One, two, three. Yeah, because if they just could push you off... That would be vile, but can I? Yeah, we can get a critical toss that misbegun away. Thank you. Two, three. Reminds me a good deal of oh, Valley of Defilement specifically. I mean, it's in the lineage of all Souls areas with sort of just this sort of persecution as a theme. But two and there we go. But the fact that you have these. Praying zombies is very Valley of Defilement, especially since it's really easy to fall off things. Okay. Smithing Stone 8. Decent, I suppose. And more must be gotten here. Let's put on Starlight again. Golden Val again. Every little bit of defense is helping here. And what is. Okay. Another one of you. I thank you. Knock you down. Cool. This was the drop down, and anything here? This is Golden Rune 13, okay. Okay. Two, three, four, here we go. One, two. Well, if you don't consider it to be anything wrong, then presumably there's nothing to apologize for. Oh, but okay, that over there. This is getting rather complicated. So where's the Miranda? Oh, you're down there. Don't like that. Hmm. Okay. It. If you haven't done anything wrong, there's nothing to apologize for. And I do maintain that. And cool. Another one will do it. Should do it. And dead. Okay, cool. Yeah, well. If I was a flower, I'd be angry too. Hmm. Let's... Can't use... Blessing with what I have, so just use that. Okay. Go up. Well, then I wouldn't be able to move. I wouldn't be able to go anywhere or do anything, talk to anyone. I wouldn't be able to play any games anymore. For one. If I were a flower, you wouldn't be able to watch me anymore. Presumably. Oh, but... Burno Flame would be good here, except, well, you don't have it equipped. Two, three, okay. But. If something actually is wrong there, that can be a lack of consideration, and that's legitimate. But if it's just someone disliking you without you having done anything actually wrong, then you have nothing to apologize for. There's no reason to apologize for existing. And... Oh, goodness. Can I... Come on. It's gonna be annoying. Well, I need another flask, but... Thank you. Okay, now it's dead. Did that drop anything? No. I just rock various kinds of mushrooms, though, so... Hmm. So, anything up here, or... Or... Hmm. Keep on looking. And... Ah, so you can use this to get up on another branch and find some of that, presumably. How am I gonna get over here, then? 
drop down on this segment of the roof, but get over here though. Hmm. Hmm. Uh, it. Uh, I swear. I swear sometimes. You're you're gonna die from apologizing too much. I swear. Wait, did I not get up there? Or oh, this was where the this was where that misbegotten was. Okay, good. Hmm. Yeah, one day you're gonna die die from apologizing too much, and on your deathbed you're gonna apologize for that too. I swear. Oh, so this links around in an interesting kind of way. Well, do we do we have Golden Vow up right now, so. We got another misbegotten. Let's reapply some buffs. It's gonna be Urge Ring. It. There's a difference, and I say this for your own benefit, there's a difference between being polite and being a doormat. And I'm sure you know that. Two and can I? Oh my goodness! Okay, fun. Not really. Okay, I dodge. Okay, can I fully charge? One, two, three, and oh my goodness! Thanks, and just barely get that stance break. Well, we can kill. Okay. Yeah. Oh, an ancient dragon smithing stone. Must be gone short though. What else is down here then, if anything? Oh, another Miranda flower. Classic. Always, always reliable. Okay. Hmm. Yeah, it... Well, it depends on what weapons we'll want to actually use with that thing. The question is how much use I'll be able to get out of it, because... There are a few... Spell catalysts I might want to use it to upgrade, but... It's not that much. Okay. Is there anything else down here? I don't get the impression that there is. You can see the brace of the halo tree over there. Elfail. Oh, but that... To get over there, okay. Need to drop down. Alright. Huh. Makes sense, because now we're in the shade of the canopy of the tree, but it's rather dark. That actually is... I think this is... Yeah, that's the hollow of the halo tree. One of them, because, right, it's a double helix. It's two trees weaved together, basically. And I think that one over there is where we fight Melania eventually. I think. Uh, oh, okay, well, alright. Sue coming, luckily I dodge. In time after just a lucky miss. Alright, so... Can I charge and kill? A normal fully charged heavy kills. Well, stance breaks, stance breaks. Hmm. Down there would be. To get down there. Is this another grace? It, it is another grace. Huh. Okay. I. Doing decent then. Let's take that. Then. Level up another time. Level up, and we can get that intelligence a little higher. Mm -hmm. I should be relatively close to where Red is Arena, I think. I think it's right over there, so we're a good portion away down. Huh. That was... Mm -hmm. Is that a smithing stone? I don't even remember. Okay. I get down here with the ants. As one does. Golden Vow. Okay. Then we... Blast the ants. I... Oh, not like that, not like that. I may be stupid. I may be stupid. And just toss and toss. I, okay, cool. That was annoying. I messed that up badly. And can we... Well, I... Alright. Fun, not really, and tie, and oh my goodness, okay, one more time, and 
Uh, uh. This is something. This is something for sure. Toss that and okay, there we go. Great. Uh, we have 314 incant scaling. That's rather nice. This is Aeonian Butterfly. Okay. No other Aeonian Butterfly. Hmm. So this should hopefully be way to Elfail eventually. We'll see. More corpses! Yay! Alright, one, two, three, and one, two, three, four. Oh, nice! How was it? Somber so nine, that's good to have it. There are crystallians here. Really? Okay. Huh. That's surprising to me, but maybe if I kill these snails, some things will stop. I have the impression this might be a crystallian. Oh my goodness. I okay. Oh, interesting. So, yep, they're spirit crystallians, which means that if we kill the snail summoning them, they'll stop appearing. Oh, wow. That... That's always funky with a game, just not having enough info. Now, this should be close to the right end. I can just do that and things will be done. So, how much else is around here? And nothing seems to be up there, but if I could, it'd be hard to reach. Go down here and barely get that. Hmm. Oh, but over there is. Let's jump in there. And can I... Yep, we can reach that. One, two, three, four, and... For a second I thought I saw painting. Only in Japanese. Oh, wow. Huh. Why specifically? Just much more popular in Japan. Thank you, and... Zombie, zombie. Okay, good. But how would you manage to play it if it was only in Japanese? Ridding Amber Medallion 2. Okay, nice. That's more stamina, which... Okay. Here we have... The plus 2 Crimson Medallion for health is going to be locked past. Locked behind some other stuff. Gonna need to do... Well, that's endgame. That's true endgame. Okay. I would guess it would be because it was mostly popular in Japan. Oh, yeah, that's fair. That's legitimate. That happens sometimes. See, so, yeah, not all hope is abandoned yet. So I... Hello. One, two, three, four. I... Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. So many of these corpses. For some reason. Okay, one, two, three... And, oh, well, I got grabbed. And they- oh, they are rotten corpses. Okay. Three, four, and- mm, I do not want to get Scarlet Rotted. Three, four, five. Okay. Mm. I hear a scarab somewhere. It's in there, but the question is how I'm going to get inside that. If I drop down, well, that would just kill me. Mm. Keep on moving. Or Smithing Stone 6. It. Halo Tree is an interesting place. That's for sure. Oh, okay. Oh, they're new? Wait, so what are you emulating it on? Presumably emulating. It's okay. Huh. If you could do all this stuff yourself, you wouldn't need me anyway. Okay. So we've gotten back to Hill Tree Town, which should mean that the elevator should be nearby. Oh, thanks. Okay. One, two. Oh, 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 you've been emulating on Yuzu. Oh, wow. It. Interesting. Oh, are they... Okay. 
Oh my goodness, I don't... What? Oh my lord, I... I was... Too risky with that. I... Okay. Hmm. I didn't think that thing would kill me. We actually traded. Fair. Well, whatever. That was genuinely very stupid. Okay. Well, I... Huh? I didn't see that. Okay. Let's just run past them. Should be able to get a... <clears throat> way through soon. And that... And more corpses. Fair. And let's just run past them and... Get those runes back and cry. I need another rune arc for the whole ratified, honestly. This is really gonna suck. Okay. Cool. Cool, I. Thanks, and can I... I... Alright. Oh, hmm, I... Oh, right, because I don't have... That's the defense isn't less. Stance break potential, so I... One, two... Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. What? It... Why? Oh, because the... Because the injury... It... You... You don't have to hold back. And die again. Okay. Oh my goodness. The lack of stats actually really hurts my damage. It's kind of a surprise to me. Okay, well, die. One, two, three. And yep, it makes it go from a two hit to a three hit. Wow. It's not good. One, two, three. Oh, wow. That... I was not aware of that. I... Remind me to never injure my tailbone. So is that going to be jumpable or... Okay, probably just with the butterflies. Oh, wow, that... <clears throat> Talk about bad luck, I swear. Why is everyone here? Okay. Well, it... That, that's also an injury. I would call that an injury. <laughs> it... Duh, oh, what? What? Okay. Alright. Dodge. Okay. Need to... Dodge. Can I... I'm a... I'm a... Thanks. Oh my... Okay. Cool. I, okay, alright. Uh -huh. Oh, wow. Okay. It's just... Why are they this... Damaging! I, oh my lord, I die, die, die. Cut. Roll, roll, and roll, 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 roll. Oh, what? Really? Really? Okay. It. Well, that's the arena. That's the halfway point. I'm gonna go fight Loretta, and then that'll be. the end of what I do today. That's just ludicrous. I. Uh, uh, even with spell drink, well, I guess I could try putting Barrier of Gold back on, but it's just... I shouldn't need to do that much just for this. It's a normal area. In theory. Okay. Golden Vow. And... Just... Kill... Or hit. Not a kill, but it hit. And one, two, cool. Mm. Some of that. Kill the Hyma Mages. If we are fast about it, we can manage it better. I, thanks. I, dodge. Okay, thanks. One, two, and one, and there we go. We can stance break, which means we can critical. Thank you. All right. Mm. One more rune arc is needed. Awesome. Oh, wow. That airway is massive. Okay. Oh, my. Okay. I, okay. I dodge. Got one, two, three. And, oh, my. Okay. That. How did that club deal that much damage? Okay. Well, all right. Can I slam and die? Okay. Die. Die. For real now. Okay. Cool. Now we need to activate that elevator. Let's see what else is here. 
is Hero's Rune 4, not a rune arc. It, I don't really need standard runes that much anymore. Hmm. But, well, whatever. Smithing Stone 7. Smithing Stone 8. And... And that's where Oloretta is, but can't see her quite yet. She just gonna teleport in or something? Probably. Let's open up that way back, and then I need one more rune arc. One more measly rune arc. <sighs> okay. Oh, and that. Oh, that goes up, up instead of right, right, right. I forgot. So now we can go back here, rest up real quick, kill some more rats, kill Loretta, and then should be decent. It, yeah. Okay. But it's such a long dungeon. It's got two areas on it. Right, we had to go to the cave. It's got the brace of the halo tree and then the actual halo tree. Oh, the Noric mask. Noric mask and scar seal and scarab. This is what I need to farm one more rune arc to conclude this session after killing a boss. All right, all right. Then we can put on Beast Repellent Torch. Okay. Thanks. I. Uh, if I'm lucky, they'll give me one. They'll just give me one. Thank you. I also think I can get lucky and have another Rune Arc drop. One, two, okay. The big question is. I could probably get one more level before the fight. My question is just what I would use that level for. I probably mind to maybe get a few more casts because intelligence and faith right now are. Oh goodness. My intelligence and faith are both leveled, so to speak, right now, which means that. Might be truer than you think. <laughs> but. Oh, Zin, you're lying down. I thought you meant you were lying, Zin. You don't think it's actually possible? That you found out that somehow the game had decided to just not drop anything for me ever again. But you know, maybe. Okay. Need one, two. Give me a rune arc. No rune arc. Not that time. This is. <clears throat> this is why some people just give up living. Probably. Thank you. And. Because the only thing is left are going to be. Farm Azula. After. Well, Elfail, Farm Azula, and then. Wayne Dill, Ashen Capital, which is not really a dungeon at all, really. It's a place. Okay. <laughs> it's... Most everything in there is just stuff I could have gotten and did get in normal form, Wayne Dill. It's, you know, entirely empty, burned down, covered in ash. The one thing is that get a talisman that was previously inaccessible on a wedge that you could see but not actually reach. Which is going to be Crimson Amber Talisman plus two. <sighs> okay. Let's keep on going. Thank you. Alright. Thanks. I just... It's good that this sword has decent range, kills in one hit even one-handed, and keep the torch up so I can actually see, so I don't want to have to cast Starlight every single time. It, 
<clears throat> there should be another rune arc in El Fail. But the question is just what else is in El Fail and what is going to kill me? It millennia, though to be fair, I can just use various means to increase my resistance against millennia. It Scarlet Rot is annoying, but not a huge issue, and I have boluses I can equip. And all the damage millennia deals is just pure physical damage, nothing else. Hmm. Give me one rune arc, please. It without a rune arc, I just there's not much I can do. Well, to be fair, a lot of it is just my capabilities have gradually over time. I've become reliant on having additional stats from the rune arc, <clears throat> and you know, upgraded weapons were sort of switched up to. Stronger weapons with higher requirements, arguably earlier than I should. Because if I'm really cautious, what I would do is focus on being able to, you know, a kit that I can have, Runark or no Runark, and then use probably other effects, honestly, like the health boost effect, in order to, you know, boost my capabilities a bit further without, you know, them determining whether I can use my gear or not. But, I don't know. It is what it is. And for a second I thought that might be something. It was nothing. Okay. Oh, we, we got a Renard. Alright, cool. Got what we needed so we can kill Loretta now. That's good. In that case, we know what we need to equip. Oh, come on. It's here. It's all here. Oh, and right, we got that. So the big thing is, let's go back to Halo Tree. To the Halo Tree town. She is weak to lightning and mostly fights using magic. So we'll use... She also has physical hits. This and this. Barrier gold and get rid of that. Put that there, put Gravelstone Suit in the offhand to boost my incantations. And yeah, you can kind of see the seal held as well as the glow. And he seals a little bit of a golden glow to it. And put on the full bull goat set. And we should be pretty much impervious. Good amount of points, so we need barrier gold. Memorize. Well, actually, for Flass, for Wondrous Physic. Oh, that was fire all the time? Mine was. Wow. So I didn't have any stance bonus ever. That was really stupid of me. Well, whatever. It all worked out in the end. Because I didn't use fire on that much. Honestly. Well, well that was good on the Misbegotten. Crusader. So lightning damage negation. Let's take barrier goal. This should all be good. Should be in more than capable of a position here. <clears throat> Go down here. But before entering the arena, <clears throat> Grail's Roar would help. <clears throat> it would make her even weaker in every way that matters. That fall would kill me. I don't want that. So I sneak past you. Yeah, Golden Vow. Actually, right, Blessing. Blessing the Urge Ring. Golden Vow. Barrier of Gold. And then, Grail's Roar will work, and where is she? Oh, all the way over there. Hi, Loretta. Just... Let's roar, and there we go. We can miss entirely, I guess. Okay, cool. All right. I, okay. Luckily, that damage dealt is negligible. Oh, this is so sweet. I, okay. Cool. Just keep on tossing at you, and... Oh, interesting. That was Karin Retaliation, I think. And, hmm. Toss, and... Just cannot, oh. 
Shoot and dodge. Okay. It's in somewhat close here, actually, but... Create some distance, and can I... Oh, you're gonna... Go shot. I... Oh, okay, well, I... Yeah, see, it's just... My negation is so much, it's... Kind of ridiculous. Okay, cool. Let's see. What buffs do I have up right now? I... Come on, I... I, okay, cool. Come on, tossing it. Can I? More replenishment and just those do basically nothing to me. It, it's a bit ridiculous. Now this is her halberd, which is okay. A weapon we can get from this, I believe. I okay. We need to buff back up and dodge. Thank you. So, golden vow. Barrier back, and I need. Oh my goodness! I right, okay. I right, oh, oh right, and oh my goodness, that was nearly death actually. Let's buff, and there we go. Cool, nice. So now we can just lightning spear the rest of this out. Thanks. Uh, oh my. Okay, dodge. Mm hmm. It's a three hit combo sometimes. So I dodge. Thank you. And okay, yeah, it was. I right, okay. Then we'll just take that and thanks and. Uh huh. Another hit, and there we go. No more Loretta. Oh, I literally forgot to. I forgot my physic flask. Well, whatever. It worked. Loretta's mastery and Loretta's war sickle. Here we go. And that's 46 rack. Four great arrows from Magic Rainbow at once. So she's by Loretta, not the Halo Tree. Hence potency. Hold to keep him knocked. Do rep by Loretta after a long bloody journey. Seek out a place where the Elven works to live in peace. Truly crafted silver war sickle, real light Loretta net in the halo tree, service personal guard for carrying royalty. Opens blue glint stone and replaced with unalloyed gold. So we got magic damage though. Royal Knight, we poured imbuing with glint stone descend, accelerate soothing slash, and we got that is an Ash of War from defeating Royal Knight Loretta beforehand. Alright, so Halo Tree Promenade. Go a bit into Elfail, presumably, but. Eh. How much farther down? Is there another side of grace? Or probably. This is. Didn't expect bloodstain. Just going down and. Interesting. Up there, but this is the castle at the base. There are grace here, or what? Beautiful. North, uh, nothing it seems. This is, can I? Betrayal ahead. Precious item ahead. I. Let's go down anywhere or. Wait. Huh? I worry. And is this a sort of grace or. This is Elfail, Brace of the Halo Tree. But. Before any of that. Oh my goodness. Yep, right over here, Elfail. Work our way down the castle part to get to Mulaney at the bottom. For any of that, I'm just gonna go back to the table. Get a level or two. Just one, actually. And yeah, we. Did pretty well for ourselves here. Let's use a rune. Biggest rune right now. That should be just enough for another level, I think. And no, we need about fifteen thousand more. It mm -hmm. twenty-five or so. Okay, it's a level again, and we're decent here. Yeah, one more level in, probably strength. And that is good. We have <laughs> pretty high level. That golden scarab being equipped all the time has certainly been doing its work. So I think I'll. And things here for now, and yet next time is going to be Elfail and probably a bit of Farmazula, and then after that will be Wayndale Ashen Capital.
Thank you. Glad you liked it. Sorry if I had to be a bit sour at times. If I was a bit sour at times, because... Because it's one tree over here, and then the second tree over this way. Oh. Don't die. Especially since I'm literally getting off right now. I will see you next time. Thank you very much.